Nick, what are you going to get your dad for Father's Day? Hmm. I don't know. You got any ideas? Well, Manscaped has a full line of men's hygiene products. Have you seen it? I have not seen it. You have to show me. <laughs> so this is manscaped.com. And if you use code RBP, you get 20% off and free shipping on all of these products. So the lawnmower 4.0 is their main trimmer. And you can get like full packages, like the lawnmower 4.0 package for your dad. It's got the nose trimmer, the ball preserver, the boxer, the boxers, this little travel case. It's got everything. Oh, he definitely needs this. Right. And then you also got some cologne over here. And you got stuff like the ultra smooth package with the razor. If he wants to go even closer shave, mm. I don't know. You know what I mean? Does your dad need this kind of stuff? He does. I'm going to get him the performance package. Do you think your mom would enjoy that? Would help, would be glad that you bought it for him? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Look Fuck. at this guy's fucking hair. What? You went all out today. Oh, that's nice. Huh? Yeah. What you sunk it in? What'd you do? Is it the lighting? What'd you do different today? It looks like, or is it because your face is getting? I got a haircut. Got my beard done like three, four to five days ago. And your face is getting skinnier. Yeah, your got face a little is getting tan. thin, baby. A little more tanned, you know. I'm a new man here. Oh, what are you down to now? Two fifty? Drinking fucking like apple cider vinegar. Yeah, I'm drinking apple cider vinegar, you fucking retard. No, That's this is gross. Silo 9. Because oh, nice. I need my I EAAs and I want to be hydrated. Am I down to 250? Yeah. No, what, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. 281.3. No, not quite that heavy, I wish. But I'm a uh, 2... No, no, I'm trying again, I'm trying again. 276.4. No. I range between the lightest I've been was 271 and then I'm averaging Fuck. like 274, 275. All right. Feel. And how many you have four weeks left, right? Five. Oh, five weeks. Okay. How do you feel? You feel shitty yet or no? Uh, the last four days, three days is like the first time I feel five weeks out. Before that, I felt amazing. But like now I can feel like when I wake up in the morning and I do my cardio, which like I go like hard on the cardio. After that, yeah. I can tell I'm like, fuck, I'm fucking tired. What is what is hard on the cardio? Like what is what is your version of hard? Level like 10 on the bike, trying to keep over 90 RPM. Yeah, yeah. For how long? Half hour? 45 minutes? That's half hour right now. Half hour? Okay. Yeah. So you like, do you ever go above a half hour or no? Uh, generally not in one session. No. Like if Patrick was to make me do, say, 45 plus, I would probably do like a 25 minute session, a 20 or a 30 and a 15 post workout. Yeah, yeah. um, I generally don't do more than 30, 35 in one session. Does he ever. give you? Does I, don't, he give I won't you have to do this prep. I can tell now I won't have to, but I before I, I have done multiple sessions with him, yes. Does he give you the option? Like, does he say, I want you to do 40 minutes and then you split it up how you want? Or does he tell you do this and this? He generally advises when, yes. Okay, okay. I so, mean, like, it might be like, yeah, I mean, like, he might have, like, blah, 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 fasted and then, you know, whatever post-workout or, but, like, depends. Sometimes he's trying to intentionally separate it from training as much uh, as possible. So he won't say, like, an extra 15 post-workout. He might be, like, between meals five and six, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just, like, in the That's how I like to do it. Yeah. That's always the most, I learned, I burn the most fat that way. I mean, three sessions a day, like separate, cardio yeah. training yeah. and then cardio yeah. at the end of the night. Yeah. yeah I, th I think, yeah, no, I, I find it takes a lot out of your cardio trying to do a post-workout. And I find if my cardio, like I'm ever trying to do a post-workout, it's like, I go hypo and shit so fast. Yeah. You're like 10 minutes in, you're like, yeah. this is rough. You know, do you, like, drink, do you drink an intro or no? During my training? Yes. Yeah. But that carb, those carbs don't hold you over like through your. Uh, well, it depends. Like at the point where I would be starting to feel that, I would probably have cut it out by then. You know, like okay, yeah, the yeah. intro. But yeah, like right now, I'm drinking an intro. Sorry, yeah. But I'm also not doing second session of cardio. Yeah. yeah how, I mean, gotcha. how much carbs are you doing intro? Uh, right now, it ranges like to, like 20, 25. It's not a ton. Twenty five. Yeah. 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 And then um, post it might be twenty five, fifty. You know. When you're doing ten level ten for half an hour on a bike, are your quads That's burning? <laughs> Or no? uh, the first like week to 10 days. Yes. Yeah. Because okay. John used it, to always tell me hard to push like the first while I'm doing it. It feels like it's a, a leg workout to like get that. But then after my legs like adjust to that, 
After a couple of weeks, it feels fine. Yeah. John used to always tell me that the bike was fine, but he preferred the treadmill because he didn't want me getting pumped or sore at all. Yeah. Doing cardio. I, I I disagree with that to a little bit of a point because I think the bike doesn't have yeah. any eccentric loading. It's not like where the stairs where you're like stepping down under your body weight or you're stepping. It's all just under the power of that. Like it's like the elliptical where it's like lifting and stepping down. So there's no eccentric load, which I find actually keeps my legs a little fresher, not the opposite. So I also say having a pump is good too. Yeah, I mean, I don't get, I don't get, like, so, I don't doing, get, like doing stairs will flatten my legs out really fast. Big time. I'll, I'll okay. lose my legs completely. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. One at a time. I'm sorry. I, I just want to get, I want to get some actual, I want to get a good, some information out. So I never said stairs because John didn't like the stairs either. Well, I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. John liked the treadmill because he felt, felt like it was the least amount of impact on the muscle. That um, I agree. And sure. I mean, when yeah. you say, when you say the load on the stairs, like you're stepping down, I think on the bike, it's the same thing. You're pushing through the pedal. Isn't it the same? Isn't it the same motion? <sighs> yes and no. It's not really though. No. When you're on level 10, I mean, you're pushing no through impact. that. It's, it's no impact. It's, it's all, it's constant, you know? Hmm. Like there's no up step, down step under your If way. anything, I feel I recover faster doing a bike than I would. I, I agree. But no, Melissa, tread, but you guys side, keep saying stairs. Melissa, I'm saying treadmill. Side, sorry? You guys keep, well, keep saying stairs. I'm saying treadmill. Well, I just keep thinking stairs because everyone does stairs. Melissa yeah, yeah. only walks on the treadmill. She's like, that's all she does. She loves that. She'll go and she loves that. And she finds that the easiest. Yeah. Um, easiest in two ways. One, to get her heart rate up the most. And two, for the least impact and soreness of her legs. I find it the, it the opposite. You know? so I, I, I'm, with, I'm with Ian. Go ahead, Nick. Okay, so. My, my calves, if I do incline walk for a, a, a duration during a prep, my calves will be so fucking tight and fucked up by the end of that prep. I also, I also get shin splints. Yeah. Okay. So my philosophy was bike and I would be on the bike because I like getting, my, I like keeping the blood in my quads. Yeah. yeah. So I told John that I'm like, Hey, maybe if we do the bike, this prep, my legs will stay fuller because I'm going to have the blood there all the time. And he's like, I think because we're fasted and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, we don't want to have a lot of impact on the quad. He's like, you can probably keep the muscle more fresh if you don't have a pump, if you just do some very low impact sure. Right. So yeah. that was his philosophy on it. So, I mean, I, maybe that might be from a scientific way correct. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't um, know either. I'm just, that's someone, why I'm Someone asking. smarter than all of us will probably come in here in the comments and tell us what the yeah. right answer is to this. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I find, yeah, personally for me, I find it just takes the least out of me physically and I have the easiest time getting my heart rate up. Oh, like, you do? I, I feel like I can, I can cycle like a motherfucker, but to get that same level of like intensity in a, in a treadmill feels much more not on a treadmill. No, but on, the, but on the stairs, I can go very slow. Sure. Yeah. The stairs heart, my heart rate, heart rate way up. Yeah, my Look, heart I think like, if you're someone that has a hard time losing body fat, that the bike is probably not for you. If yeah. you're someone that like where, you know, caloric expenditure is everything. I, I think an incline walk um, for the most part, I mean, it depends. Like if you're holding onto the treadmill, you're kind of negating yeah, yeah, it's no point. But the number is reading because you're holding the angle, you know? Yeah. Um, but if you can go on the stairs, I mean, yeah, if you're someone losing body fat, like for my clients, you know, I would generally recommend them go whatever is burning the absolute most calories. Because at that point, you're not worried so much about like leg devolumization, like me and Nick are worrying about at the Olympia level. You're just like, I just got to get in shape, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, but for so me, I don't have a problem getting in shape. And I find for maintaining freshness in my legs and volume in my legs, as well as not feeling like sore through my calves and ankles and that I find the bike is the best for me. I can, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. So I, I, I've, that's where I've done uh, stairs the entire time. And like, look, it makes it insanely, I can get peeled in a week. It feels yeah, like. I know. I know. Um, but I definitely, I definitely notice changes elsewhere, you know? So just for people watching, um, what, what, what we'll say then, if we're not talking about preserving muscle shape, uh, I think the stairs are probably the easiest way to get your heart rate up and get burned. Yeah, I no, guess. I okay. This is what I really want to say at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is get our heart rate up and consistent. It yes. really doesn't matter what cardio you do. If you're no. not talking about muscle shape or size, yes. yes. Right. If we're just talking about burning fat, it doesn't really matter what cardio you do is all whatever gets your heart rate up the fastest and most consistent. Yeah. So that's why yeah. we, that's why we're saying the stairs. Cause it, it involves so much motion that like for me, my heart rate's at 140 within like 10 minutes. Yeah. So for sure, it'll get it right up there. Yeah. Whereas the bike, I, I have to do what you're doing. I have to crank the resistance way up yeah. to get, to get that same um, level of intensity. The I treadmill, agree. 
unless I'm running, I can't get my heart rate past 120. Yeah, I can't. That one doesn't work. I, I can't, like, look, I can, but then I'm, I'm doing it on, like, an insane incline at a speed that I can't keep up for that duration without it just being, like, an insane calf pump, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. If I was to do treadmill, it would be, like, my, my second cardio session. Yeah, if, if I was yeah. gonna pick, if I was gonna pick a secondary option for me personally, I would do an elliptical or like an arc train or something. Elliptical, like that. yeah. Yeah, so, I would, I would pick those as my second. I find those I can get my heart rate and burn a ton of calories on those, um, but I, I still prefer sitting down on the bike. You know? <laughs> so just for the record, my favorite cardio is steps. I like the step, the moving, the step mill is my favorite. Like the OG, like the step mill or a stepper. No, no, the step mill. Okay. Yeah, like stare. John, John used to get mad at me. He'd be like, you're doing this. He's like, I can tell by your photos. You're doing the step mill, aren't you? Yeah. Cause my legs would devolumize a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And he'd be like, get off the step. Mill. But I would, but like you said, I would get fucking shredded just from the amount of calories. I think, calories. I think, I think the stairs are maybe good in the beginning of prep to really yeah. get things moving. When you're moving. eating a lot of food. Yeah. And then kind of, as you get deeper into it, you know, you can switch yeah. over. Yeah. I actually talked to somebody about this. Tell me if this makes sense to you. And I'm, I'm probably going to butcher it, but. I can't remember who it was that told me, but they're like, you're not actually losing muscle. Like, you know how you say like your legs devolumize and you lose your sweep. The no, guy was like muscle. No. Well, this is what the guy was telling me. He's like, look, you're not actually losing muscle. He's like the muscle changes shape based on what you're doing. Yes. He's like, because of the impact of the step mill, you're devolumizing the muscle, but you're not actually losing the quad. Yeah. So it kind of made sense because after the prep was done and I went back to eating, my quads it would come quads back. They blew right back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know the science behind that, but that, uh, at the end of the day, this is, I guess the, the hard and fast rules we can get for people. If you're, if you, the name of the game is to burn calories and you want to just get in shape, then I think the stairs is the best option. After that, it really depends on what your goals are specifically. Like, you know, if you're trying to maintain muscle, if you're just trying to do, you know, what feels the best for you, there's other options out there. Um, but I think for overall calorie burning, yes, I, I agree. The stairs is the best. I think Gigi, yeah. it was Gigi Mufu who was saying, he gets bored doing any one type of cardio. So he'll go in and do like 30 or 40 minutes. I used to do this all the but time. Like every 10 minutes, he'll just change the type of cardio he's doing. Yeah, I would, I would, I did for I years. Think I would switch it 50, 50. So like if I do 30 minutes, I would do 15 on the elliptical and then 15 on the bike, you know? You know how crazy I am? I, when I was prepping, I could never do that. Cause I'm like, if I get off the step mill, my heart rate's going to drop and then I got to get it to go. And you got to restart. Up. And that means I wasted a minute and I'd be like, so I, couldn't, I was that fucking crazy yeah. that I was like, I have to stay on the step mill. Sometimes I, I feel too, I would like convince myself, like if I changed equipment, I wasn't burning fat the same. It's yeah. like, it has to be the same, yes. duration, yeah. the same duration on the same. Like if I have to do minimum 20 minutes on one yeah. piece or it doesn't count. You know? That's right. That's, that's right. That's, that's man. When I look back at yeah. some of the meathead shit, I used to think, I know it makes but no I, sense, but it's almost like, it's not because I thought it was right. It was almost more like a ritual. Yes. Like, this yeah. is what I like do. That's a compulsive tick yeah. more than anything. Yeah, yeah more than yeah. like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so the prep is going good. It's going excellent, yes. Good, man. Um, have you decided on all the shows you're doing or just still only focused on the Are you going to do Texas again? <sighs> I'm undecided. I mean, I'll, I'll for sure do Vancouver, obviously. How about uh, Tampa? I mean, look, I've thought about it. I mean, I know, like, I know Kuklo's doing... Texas and Quentin's doing Texas, and that would be fun to do. I mean, Quentin looks fucking good. It looks good, yeah. Hey, so, you know what? And I'd like to have another battle against Kuklo in, in Texas. That would be fun, you know. I mean, hell I yeah, people would love to see that. I mean, so I mean, look, there's there's shows that get, there's, there's shows that interest me, and I would like to do again. But I gotta get Vancouver, see how I look in Vancouver, and if it's like okay, I think I can be a little better in two three weeks or something. That's like okay, I'll do it because I don't think it's gonna take away from my Olympia. Um, but if I'm like pushing it, you know, and I've already looked, I think really good at that one show and at that time could be used for improving for the Olympia. I won't bother. You know what somebody said? I thought, I thought it was really interesting because I've never looked at it this way. I think it was Lee priest. He said, do more shows so you can take the spots away from other people. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's like, <laughs> but, but not in an asshole way. Cause if you think about it, let's say you do, I, I, I kept kook low to the Olympia last year. Think about it. Let's say you do Tampa. He, he let's say it. you do Texas. <laughs> And whatever, and you keep Kuklo and you keep uh, Quentin out of the Olympia and all that. That just raises. That means you're two places higher at the Olympia that you don't have to yeah. worry about. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, you you're gonna you're gonna you're anyway. Them, you so you're them. already not as worried, but I understand. Yes, you know what I'm saying. You keep like I mean, Kuklo could have easily come back and beat me at the Olympia. That is not unfair to say. You know, that's right. That's right. So I just thought it was an interesting way to look at it. I've never thought of. Yeah, you can just keep them out by beating them yeah. early. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is what Ashley Coltwasser does. She just goes and does every show and tries She's to keep, a beast. keep everyone out, you know? Yeah. She does every show of the year. Every show. Yeah. Just give she her. just she probably just looks like that all the fucking time. Though. I think I think that's her probably doing almost no drugs, if if drugs, yeah. and just eating a clean diet and doing cardio and training like she would do all year, anyways. You know? I agree. And I think she's probably only using I don't natural, know how she does it. Probably only natural diuretics or anything, maybe none in terms of water manipulation, you know? I have a newfound respect for bikini girls and not in a perverted way. I well, <laughs> get fucking Nick's face. <laughs> Please elaborate. Okay, on I'm going to tell you. So when I did the Arnold and I did it with um, Janet, what Janet, Leo, yeah. or Leo, um, watching her explain what the fuck I was looking at actually made me understand bikini a little bit more he's a hard class man i and think now i'm like, I'm like tries to judge. no no yeah. you know why no no you know why it's hard they have to walk such a fine line between yes it's the most be, let me finish, let me finish. so jane explained to me like if you're too hard you're fucked and if you're too soft you're fucked and if you're too hard in one place and not the other you're fucked yes yeah. she's like you almost have to be the exact same body fat all over your body yeah and 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 just the right amount like it's really tricky right yeah it's the mo- i think bikini is the most balancing act you know yes. like because in bodybuilding yeah. it's like just go far to one end of the spectrum. far as shredded as you can get yeah yeah and as, as big as you can and as shredded as you can blah blah yeah. blah and like yeah. you know and same in a lot of classes like or or the leeway is bigger like say in figure you could show up a little on the softer side but have really nice shape and it's not the end of the world you can get away with it yeah and some girls will win shows being super peeled you know and i think you can do that a lot in most classes um, you know, like think of classic. I mean, you'll get guys with mediocre conditioning, but exceptional shape, you know, bikini, yeah. there's like no room. It's like so narrow, like the, the guidelines, you know, guys, yeah, no, we're, we're going we're we're to say hi so we can finish our conversation. <laughs> hi. Hi. We're talking about bikini and how hard it is. Hi, buttercup. Hi there, little fucking Reese's pieces. <laughs> <laughs> we're meeting this weekend, eh? Can't wait to fucking get you knuckleheads here. Yeah, so do I, do I fly? I go on Friday. I'm coming down there. I think Friday we're all flying in Friday morning. <laughs> I'm glad, glad, you, glad you know the itinerary, Ian. Well, I thought for some reason we were going on Sunday and coming back Tuesday. I don't know why. And then what? Melissa's what? like, Melissa's like, no, I messaged Donnie's to check. You're going Friday and coming back Monday. Friday to Monday, yeah. 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 <laughs> Is Melissa coming? No. Oh, uh, that's sad. Yeah. Um, so I called Guy today because Paul was trying to get out of his nipple piercing. This is the best story of this podcast no. ever, ever. Just listen. Okay, so my brother's running on the treadmill, right? My brother's the one who got me into the running because he runs. He ran the half marathon like last year, or the year before. And, and went, hold on, running. No, 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 no. Hard. Let me just let me finish. I'm okay. gonna finish. Don't worry, guy. I'll finish. So I'll Gosh. tell everybody. So anyway, so my brother's been trying to teach me to run. He's like, look, you got to take really, really short steps. That's actually how you do it, and you can run longer that way. Blah 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 blah. And you got to build up your speed. You got to have slow days and fast days. Yeah. So my brother normally runs at like six miles per hour on the treadmill. So today he was running like a 4.8. So in really small steps. So when you look, it looks like nothing, right? I'm running at like four miles per hour and I can't get past like four and a half miles per hour is the fastest I went. And it was like, it felt super fast anyway. So he's at 4.8. So me and Paul are sitting there and I'm like, look at this fucking guy. He's barely running. Right. I was just joking around. And Paul's like, well, I could fucking run that fast. I'm like, no, you can't. He's like, I could run that. I'm like, you can't run that fast for 10 minutes. He's like, yes, I could. I'm like, there's no fucking way. So he's like, I'll bet you. He goes, okay, what do you want to bet? He goes, I don't have to pierce my nipple if I can do it. I go, deal. And then he was like, because I was was so confident. He was like, wait a minute. what? But I get to wear different shoes. I'm like, no, wear no shoes. And that's, he's like four and a half miles per hour. I'm like, no, you said 4.8. And you're wearing those fucking shoes, and that's what you're gonna do for ten minutes. How long? How long do you have to do it for? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. So and I know how hard it was. Wait. I know how hard it was when I started. So I'm like, there's no yeah. fucking way he's just to give Fuad props about the the podcast. He actually called me to witness the handshake and to confirm. <laughs> so he, wanted, he called me you as a witness. Of, witness. He called me as another member of the podcast to make sure that the punishment to get out of was okay. Yeah, I because like, I wanted there. to. I wanted to clarify with Guy. I'm like, is this okay? Because I'm letting him out of the punishment for all of us, right? But I was, but I was confident he wasn't going to get it. So he's like, go like this. Fuad goes, there's no way he's going to do it. I go, no way. I said, I go, you sure? He's like, yes. I said, okay, it's a deal. 
<laughs> Listen, smoked this run, didn't he? People, people don't realize, man. Like, okay, so I have people message me going, "You only run at four miles per hour." I'm like, people don't realize when you're 200. Paul's 230 pounds. Yeah. Or when you're, I'm 260 pounds. Running is fucking way wow. harder. Than and it's it like, is sure, hard. like you could, you could, like even if you could run faster, it's that impact and that weight every step you're That's carrying right. for the duration. Minutes, 10 minutes, 15. Yeah. It yeah. compounds yeah. like. You know, over time, like the total and weight. your heart rate, and your when your heart, your heart rate three gets three up way faster, way yeah. like quicker. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, last three steps. So right. listen. So <laughs> right. So so Paul goes, okay. What do you get if I if I lose? I'm like, you got to still pierce your nipple, and you have to shave your beard because he's like in love with his fucking gray beard, right? So he goes for how long? I go for thirty days. He goes. Okay, let's do it. So we, we oh, trained. He confident. So he was uh, he was starting to waver at the end, but I wouldn't let him go. So I called guy. <laughs> I go, guy, you got to witness this. So guys on there, we're laughing at him. Paul's trying to back out. We're not letting him back out anymore. We shake <laughs> on the fucking camera and um, we go work out. And then my brother's still there. He's done running now. And we're like, okay, my brother's like, he's probably going to do it. I'm like, there's no fucking way he's going to do it. So he's got an inhaler, right? Cause he gets like anxiety attacks sometimes. Yeah. So he takes a couple puffs of his inhaler and he gets on the treadmill. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> he, we start the timer and he's going so he's got his hat on he's running and his run is hilarious it's not like you could tell he's not a runner it's lumbering oh yeah. it's so fucking bad it's like he's it looks like he's got two huge balls it's yeah. like his his nuts are this big and he's running with his legs yeah, like, like elephant titus yeah. with a nut sack so anyway yeah. after like 45 seconds the hat comes off and i'm like <laughs> 45 done. seconds oh. run again. <laughs> already he's heating up he's heating up Minute and a half, you start hearing the. Huh, huh. It's, like, it's, like, it's like trying to catch his breath. <laughs> like, like he's fucking done. There's no way. Two minutes and thirty seconds hits the stop button. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, are you minutes? fucking kidding me? Two minutes and thirty seconds. That was it. Done. He didn't even put in an effort, huh? It wasn't. So he even, didn't even run four hundred meters. It wasn't even a quarter mile. It wasn't a quarter. He didn't, he didn't even get five minutes. Because four minutes, four minutes. Uh, he sorry, he wouldn't, have, he wouldn't have run he a quarter run mile. One four, lap around the track. Four miles per hour is a uh, fifteen-minute yes. mile. Yeah. So he ran. He ran two and a half minutes. So it's like an eighth of a mile is what he ran. Yeah. yeah. He didn't even ran the full track. No, that's one a quarter time. mile. The track no, is four hundred meters. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Or he just ran like just ran one barely tw twice. He ran an eighth of a mile. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. No, wait, I got that wrong. No, no. A mile is sixteen hundred meters, so a quarter mile is four hundred meters. He ran, he ran around the track once. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, the point is, he made it two. Point is, he fucking failed. So he's fucked. <laughs> so now he's, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a beardless metal nipple fuck. <laughs> Paul can run on the treadmill at four point eight miles an hour for two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I walk at. What do you walk at? 4.5. She she walks. No, she does not. Yeah, I want to see that. She does. Yeah, I, I knew it was. I knew it was around four, so that I believe it. Yeah. Melissa, I need to see a story of you I walking. I would have fell off the goddamn train. I, I want to see a story of Melissa walking at 4.5. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a video tomorrow. I believe her. I just want to see it because that's fucked yeah. up. Like I can't walk that fast. Yeah, I know. Like if I walk, if I walk, I walk at like a 1.5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, I would be like a 2.5 to 2.8 if I walked. If I walk as fast as I can walk, it's like three point five. Yes, I walk at a three. That's it. Yeah, three is full. If I had a, if I had to walk really fast, two point three. <laughs> not, not, not two, not two point five. No, two point three. Okay. You know what's crazy? Back, in the day, is back when I used to run uh, track, I had my next door neighbor was also my best friend at the time. This kid named Brock Thompson, um, and he was a very, very gifted long to middle distance runner, but never had any formal training, just like a kid that could run good, like yeah. did cross country when he was young and, you know, ran school 1500 meter and stuff. So when I started getting into club track in like grade nine, 10, he got more into running, but he, he would refuse to train at a track club. So he went to the YMCA mm -hmm. uh, where there was a treadmill. He didn't have a treadmill at home and he would go on the, the YMCA and by the, I don't know, after a, a year, maybe or so, he was getting really good at treadmill running and he was running on the full speed level 12 for yeah. almost an hour straight. Are you fucking serious? Wow. Yeah. And then when we went and ran- For an hour fucking straight. Can you imagine? No. Yeah. And, and then when we went uh, to, I ran, so I took a fitness class in, in grade 11 or 12. 
Um, and like part of the class, we had to run like the MBS Nordia on the big 10K in Ottawa, you know, on the race day. Yeah. Um, so he just t- tagged along. He was like, well, you're going to run it anyways. I'll For come the fuck it of it. You. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, within one minute, I couldn't see him. And then he ended up running it in like 28 minutes, 27 minutes. Did he, or something. Did he, ever, did he ever compete at all? Yeah, he did good. He was like a, you know, went to offsa like for, I think he, you know, placed it offsa in the 1500 and stuff could run like a sub two minute, 800 meter. Like he was good, but he was better at, he was better at the longer distances and not as much the competitive like track stuff, you know? It's like, I wonder these guys that wrote this girl came up to uh, the subs Madison thing that we did this weekend. And I think, I can't remember the exact number, but it was something like, she said, yeah, I'm a marathon runner too. I ran 62 miles. I'm like 62 fucking miles. Yeah, that's a hundred kilometer. That's an ultra marathon. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are you? I'm like, how long? Does, she's like eighteen hours. I'm like, who yeah, the fuck eighteen runs? hours. You're right. I had a I had a buddy who's in in high school, same friends, same friend group as this Brock kid. My my friend Spencer, I ran track with. His mom and her husband stuff do Ironmans. Yeah. So they like, what is it? Swim, walk, you know, run, one, two, rock, two run, kilometers, bike Sorry. like a two hundred kilometers, and then run, run a bike marathon at the end. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. So this is what I decided. So this running thing is starting to fucking kill me because I'm too heavy. So I have to lose weight. So I decided yeah. I'm going to bike. I'm going to bike like four days a week and, and run three days a week. Cause I can't, it's actually, I'm actually regressing right now. Cause when yeah. I run now after like a mile, my hips are killing me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, okay. I'm going to have to ride the bike outside. You're going to need to get, especially with how much weight you're carrying now, you're going to need to get a pretty rigorous stretching program and therapy program to go along with that running. I know. I, know. I just don't want to back out of it, man. I want to, it's in October and I'm like, fuck, I only have four or five months. Yeah. Stretch. So anyway, I got to, I'm going to start taking some T3s and start tearing down all this weight. <laughs> Cause yeah, you just, your, your hips and glutes and quads and shit are going to get a T3, little up. clan, a little bit of fucking uh, DNP. A little bit of this, a little bit. Burn up all the muscle. <laughs> you'll, you'll be golden, champ. Yeah. You want to like the T3? Just give her. Yeah, no. That's I don't a know. moderate dose, Ian. How much? <laughs> I said 200. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um. Anyway, what's going on, guy? How are you? Good, buddy. What are you doing? How's the girlfriend? I, you always, that's always a segue, huh? How you doing? How's the girlfriend? <laughs> I'm just curious. Hi, Ian. Hey. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good. How high are you? I have, a, I have a question for you. I have a, I have a serious, so happy, happy. I have a serious question. How high is Ian? I think he's sober. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> See how sober I am? Don't flare your nostrils. <laughs> I, can't, I can't open my eyes like that and not flare my nostrils. <laughs> Why is it that everybody I fucking know all of a sudden smokes weed? Like everybody. I Name them. Put them on blast. Did you say Melissa doesn't? I she know. doesn't know. Thank God. I know. Justin, Justin, the guy with the weed farm, is the only one who doesn't smoke weed. Out of the guys. Hey, you don't, Nick, you don't smoke? Not really, no. That's a yes. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't care. It's just like, I'm like, fuck. I'm like, the only. <laughs> and you'll have plenty and of here. That's my sober face. <laughs> Yeah, and you're gonna have plenty. You'll be fine here. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Wait. How close is where you? I thought we were going to Philadelphia. That's close. we are, and we're driving over. It's close, right? Yeah. 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 Wait, you flying into Newark or Philly? Philly. Philly. It's not close. Forty-five minutes. Close? That's well, how, far, close how far is Newark? Forty-five minutes. Let's say, man. Nick, you're flying into where? Philly. Where's your parents live? He lives That's closer. Like yeah. twenty minutes. Oh, so you're closer to Philly too, then? Yeah. yeah, Nick is. Okay. Nick lives south of me. Nick's parents. All right. What do you have planned for us, guy? The TRT Everything. Olympics. I got. I got. Well, I got a washer game set up. I got fucking cornhole. Is anybody allowed to like these guys can't enter the TRT Olympics because they're all fucking gassed up? Whoa! I'm on just TRT. What are you saying? I don't think. I, I don't think. Uh, I, I don't think. Yeah, gear, man. I don't think gear plays a, a role in. Well, how do we call the TRT Olympics then? Huh? How can we call the TRT Olympics then? Um, what are the events? What kind of events? Well, we well, most most well, of the people a... that most of the people that run TRT run doses like they're all lying. In in and I'm on, I'm on TRT. TRT. Six hundred milligram a week TRT. Yeah, I'm on TRT. Yeah. Um. Oh, when we were talking about, I just want I want to direct people to more plates, more dates, 
video he did on our which conference. one so oh. we had a conversation last oh week. i see that the trt one yeah so we had a conversation last week was i on this one no i didn't remember was that- <laughs> Finish, let him fucking finish. He's gonna How aggravated he gets. He's gonna have a fucking embolism. He looks like an angry dad. I'm trying to finish a fucking sentence for fuck's sakes. Just speak over them. Go. More plates, more dates, more dates did a video on our video that we were talking about gear and how different people can use the same dose and get different actual test levels in their body. Yes. And I found it extremely interesting because he went super fucking in depth and like explain it all i'm not going to even bother trying to butcher it all but for those people who are interested in and the reason i'm bringing this up because so many people fucking say well ian takes this and nick takes this and guy takes this this video is basically telling you it does not fucking matter it doesn't matter what ian says he takes it doesn't matter what nick says he takes it doesn't matter what i say i took it doesn't matter what guy says he took. it doesn't fucking matter because everybody's body is going to process shit differently and that's why I say, that's why, like, when we talk, I say I used to use 1250. That was, like, my good. I went over that, and I went under that, and that was where I was happiest. Ian will say, like, 750. So all of us say something different. It doesn't necessarily mean because I have a higher level of taking a higher level test that I have a higher level test in my blood. Yep. And whatever, vice versa. Anyway, so I want you guys to go watch that video and hear Derek talk about it so you can really understand what it's all about so I just wanted I just thought it was really really well done and I wanted to point people to that video so anyway uh, back to our TRT Olympics so me you Ben and then they have to have like uh they have to have like the we got, the, the gas we got lockers where you go to the gun range so there's three three fucking things wait the gun range what else cornhole are we going top golfing what's cornhole yeah that's Saturday night what's and cornhole? Wa- and, the drinking game. and no it's not and washers What's cornhole? That's, that's a drinking game, guy. No, it's not. Why play it this weekend? You know what? Cornhole is a drink. Throw the bag in the hole. Oh, that. Okay. And then washers. What's that's washers? Even, washers is a box. It's yeah. a, washers is fun. It's yeah. It's a box, and inside the box is a coffee can. Inside yeah. the coffee can is a big fucking screw, like a bolt. Yeah. You play with washers, and you if you throw, you've got, you've got to throw them. And if you get it in the box, is a point. If you get it in the coffee can, it's three. If you get it on the ring, game over. How many times you get on the ring? Never in my life. It's fucking, and I've never seen it either. So if I do it, I win everything the whole day. Uh, if you get fucking a, a washer on that fucking bolt, I'll, I'll give you a reach around in front of everybody. I don't want to reach around. <laughs> I don't want your stubby fingers on my dick. No. I want to see, I want to I, see this happen. I, I, I want you to. Do homosexual. You know, <laughs> yeah. It's only, it's only gay if you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> Completely oh, just curiosity. <laughs> so I talked to a bunch of people at the Subs Madison meetup and I said, is it only gay if you're gay? And half the people are on your side and half the people are on my side. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty split. Lee Priest is definitely on Ian's side. I know. Lee Priest is definitely on Ian's side. I've had some, I've had some people come out of the woodwork into my comments with some good stories of, of proving my point, you know? Lee, Lee on, on, on Centipani circles has talked yeah. about him having a threesome I told, I told that story on here too. And getting finished yeah. off by a dude three times. Yeah. So I had a call. When I first <laughs> talked about this, only gave your gay Lee messaged me and told me that story. And I told it on the podcast here. Yeah. He's, he's told it three times yeah. on circles. He, so I called him out. I don't want to talk about this again, but I just want to say this one thing. So <laughs> I think in theory, everybody can believe what Ian's saying. But I think if people actually saw it happening, they would be on my side. I, yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with you there. Anyways, let's move on. Um, Wait, hold on. I think the people <laughs> that agree with Ann agree Anne? with him. Ann? <laughs> You're such an ass. I can't finish. You can't finish the sentence. I can't fucking say his name without you interrupting me. Anne. There's a correlation to the amount of dip in his mouth and how he says my name. Yeah, no. I noticed the bigger the dip, the more yeah. Ann comes out of it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so listen, you fucking twats. I can't I feel like the people that agree with I feel like the people that agree with Ian, <laughs> okay, would only agree up until the time that the actual incident like to where they had to suck happened. a dick yeah if they had to suck a dick they'd be like oh, i agree with four out of guy now i agree with four out of guy i'm not sucking a dick i'm not doing it uh, like anyway, it all, he would all suck, suck a dick for 10 million dollars so what nick you're doing it there's no chance yeah nick you're gonna do why it. me i'm not sucking a dick for 10 mil 100 percent we're all sucking the dick 100 <laughs> percent 
10, 10 mil in your bank account tax Do I free. look gay to you? Tax free. Tax, tax free. free. 10 mil in your bank account Ooh, tax free. Tax free. <laughs> it <Yeah>. changed his mind. <laughs> See, as a Canadian, that's a bit that's huge. That's big for me, yeah. We're walking away with like twenty five hundred bucks. It went from three to three. So you so you so you'd take it right down the old fucking right down the old throat hole for ten mil. God, fuck I take tax free. I'll let him have you for an hour, you know? No, not for an hour. But guy, that's tax free. Make it hard to make a duty free shirt. Yeah. (laughs) Tax free. It's only gay free. Tax free. (laughs) Guy, ten million? Tax free. Tax free. I don't know. Okay. Bro, it's tax free. You get to nil. It's like I feel like it's it's that scene from no, no. get hard. Hey, let me ask you like this. When he's in the bathroom hey, and he just you can't do it. This. If no one would ever find out. No, that's not fun. Wait, you no, know, <laughs> just for guy. I'm seeing if it changes his mind, you know? All right. That's not fun. I don't Everyone, know. Everyone's, like, everyone's gonna suck know you suck that day. Yeah, I don't know. I feel awkward for the good. idea. I feel awkward putting a banana in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you're not getting, you're not getting taped to put that banana in your mouth. It's sure shit I don't, ain't I don't, I don't feel weird doing it. Guy, think about it. 10 mil. If That's you're smart, okay, if you're smart with okay. your money, yes, you can work. Yes. You can invest in life changing. Money. Hold on, life changing. You have to That's go to bed that night. Hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. But all you gotta do is suck Okay, go bed. ahead, guy, go ahead. You have to go to bed that night with 10 million in your bank account going, and I saw a <laughs> the sore draw. Like, all, all I did was <laughs> sore throat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I got ten fucking mil. I'm going for it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what, guy? I think even if people knew, I might do it. Ten million. Tax free, baby. But it's a penis in your mouth, bro. Yeah, for yes, ten you mil. don't hold on, hold on. You don't leave your fucking toothbrush on the counter because you're afraid of poop particles, and you're gonna take a fucking hot one in the mouth. <laughs> hey, wait. Guy, it's a would lot you of fucking money, guy. Uh, would you uh, rather a lot of fucking penis, Fuad? You know what I could do with hostile and ten million dollars? Wait, wait, so, guy. Would you rather You're, you would have the worst PTSD in the history of fucking this podcast? <laughs> guy, you would you rather? There's no way your anxiety. <laughs> would what? you rather eat human shit or suck the dick? Eat human shit all day long with a fork and a knife and a. Spoon. Not your no human shit. Just pivot it all. Wait, how I'll much? All. How much shit? A full size dump. <laughs> I would eat a turd before I suck the cock. No, that's a turd. random, a random a like turd. gross a man. Turd. I don't know if I can. Get I would that. eat a turd and I would take a fucking antibiotic right after. Okay, See, wait. I would, is I would t- rather suck the dick than eat it nether human shit. Wait a minute. Is the ten? Is the shit? Is it still ten million dollars either way? Yes. I'm eating poop. I don't know if I can get past the smell of shit though. No, there's no way. I'm fucking. Can I get? I can't get past gross. the smell I mean, of cock. Can I get drunk before both? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, we'll, get super, Dan, we'll get super. High. Dan, we'll get super high and eat the turd. This we'll is our regular race the bar, just getting drunk and sucking dick here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Sure, why not? I think if I got drunk enough, I could eat the shit. We're such good ambassadors for bodybuilding. We're great ambassadors for bodybuilding. What are you talking yeah. about? We're this awesome. This podcast, you know what? I really, you know, it's funny. So we do the event on the weekend at, at Subs Madison, and every fucking person there was like. We love the podcast. And I'm telling you, the, the people in line, the, awesome. the, the people in line, this is why we're great ambassadors for bodybuilding. The people in line. Because we don't give a shit. No, no, no. Listen, half of them were not bodybuilders. Yeah. So I'm like, this is exactly what the whole point of the podcast was to begin with. Yeah. Was to show everybody that we are fucking normal. We just like to work out. We're not really normal, but like. We ain't normal. Bro. So we're really kind of normal. Yeah, we're talking about sucking normal. dick and eating poop. We're we normal. got so many fucking. You know how issues. many guys message me and they're like, "Man, it's like this is what I talk about with my buddies." This is how fucking guys. Talk. I know. Although, yo, do you ever wonder if like girls talk this way? Girls are fucking worse. The girls were in line too. They're like, "I love your show." I'm like, "You're fucking." I'm like, "We're disgusting." Why do you love our yeah, show? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, what think, like, what do you girls talk about? Well, the percentage is so I looked at the percentage on my analytics and the Probably percentage most guys for sure. But... Oh no, no, yeah, it's hundred percent. Like this is what I'm saying. So all I'm saying is the female percentage doubled in the last like eight months to a year. It's still really? it's, it's still very small, but it's double the amount. So I thought that was interesting. Um, I, also, I also will be willing to bet that a lot of girls watch this podcast with their boyfriends. Like when their boyfriend puts it on the TV on his account, it's not, it's not registering in your stats, you know? A few a few women were in the line, like, I watch with my boyfriend, we watch... And you yeah. know what? That actually makes me happier. 
A lot of girls. When I hear play. when I hear like couples are watching it together, that makes me so fucking. Dude, happy. we're a couple show. That's we're what the new, <laughs> we're the new network. We're a fucking show, couple you know? show. That's what we gotta we have. Are. We gotta have Melissa on more so that People the girls watch still, us for date night, bro. The girls still night. represented. Yeah. It's like it's thinking. not Netflix and chill. It's fucking let's watch bro chat. <laughs> <laughs> How did uh, how does how did Melissa's launch go? The clothes look really good. Really good, really good. Dad, really. Yeah, really that, good. they look badass. Nice. Wow. You guys did a really good job. It's like understated, but like polished. Yeah, I like I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. No, went good. Very happy for her. So it's good. Good, good. Is she happy doing her? Is she happy with her new gig? Do you want to answer that yourself? Oh, I didn't know she was still there. For sure. Hi, Melissa. Are you happy? With, are you happy with your new ambassadorship, your new job, your new management? Yeah, I'm very happy. Your clothes I feel are- like it's actually like what I want to do. You know, so. it seems like something that would be right up your alley. Yeah, I like just feel aligned, which is I don't know if I've really felt like that in a long time. How did that That's come good. about? Did you ask, or did they say we really like your style? We want you to do it. No, they like. Well, I mean, Ian sponsored by. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they randomly reached out to me and said, "Do you want to help?" like design a line we need to kind of break into the women's market more and I was like you know I have zero experience doing this and they were just like we don't care we like your style people like your style let's do it I like your style so how does that no I mean you're cool for sure I mean everything you wear and the way you you dress is cool so it all fits congrats Melissa that was awesome I thought the I thought the I thought the line looked really well done it was very like you I, I I thought it was the way I described it, it was understated but polished. It was very yeah. like you know, you. not like overly <laughs> overly trying too hard. It was just really nicely done. Yeah. yeah, I don't like when it looks like people tried too hard. Like I want people to look cool, but I don't want it to look like you like yeah. trying to look cool. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, so, you have to be comfortable with what you're wearing. So I know the process for clothing, and I know how long it is and how arduous it could be. How long did it take and where do you start? Like, do you, do you actually work with the designer? Do you get to call them and say, I want to see this. I want to see that. Like, how does it all, or do you draw the shit and send it to them? Like, how did it work? I'm like so non-artistic. So for me to even write, it's hideous. Like I'm, I'm not good at stuff like that. So I worked with a girl named Jess and she was their clothing designer before. Yeah. And she can create like graphics and Photoshop and kind of mock up. So yeah. I basically communicated with her and I used like inspiration photos, um, colors, shit like that. And she created tech packs with like graphics of what the clothing would look like. I altered them a few times. And the only thing that I would change next time, and we've already kind of discussed, is the samples came in to JP in the UK and I never actually got to like see the samples. Yeah, it's tough. So I want to yeah. like see samples and make alterations and then do another round of samples and then launch. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, uh, I can't believe how many samples are, like I've gone through. So we have some new clothing coming, but we've gone through like four fucking rounds of samples because I'm not happy with the way the sizing is. Yeah. How many samples did like you didn't see them. So how many samples did JP get before you approved I, it? I think they did three. And I think after the first round, they had to go to like a completely different manufacturer. They just kind That's of like, what, yeah, because you can I'm, all, I'm getting there myself. Exactly. Like, yeah. Cause if you're honestly, if you're going through four rounds, I would probably start questioning like who you're working with. Well, it's not, it's not, like, no, no, no. It's not that it's. So the problem is it's almost like a communication issue. Like a vision alignment thing. Now. They're sending me a sample. I'm telling what I want. And then I get a different sample back. And I'm like, wait a minute, what happened to the first sample? I want the first sample and I want it done the way I asked for it. So it's like, they keep trying to send me clothing that will please me and designs. Where are they? Instead of just exactly. Are they in China? China? They're overseas. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's really tough. Like communication is so hard. And honestly, Courtney and I are working on launching our own clothing brand. Yeah. And we're just, it's going to be pricier, but it's all going to be domestic because it's like, it's a very different I know. process when you're but, talking to someone in LA than in China, you know? But I've tried, the problem is I've tried domestically, and sorry guys, we're getting way off topic here, but domestically I tried in Canada to have this done, right? I was like, I worked with a Canadian manufacturer. I'm like, let's figure this out. But yeah. it's just not, it's just not feasible price-wise. 
it's so expensive it's not like you're gonna charge like 120 dollars for a hoodie it's like i'm no, sorry it's not you can't do that like, right stuff like you or like jp or any sort of like merch type stuff you can't do it domestic no no it no, it's not financially doesn't make sense oh so you're thinking like you want to do like a high-end line yeah we're doing like lug not luxury like yeah a pair of sweats will cost 100 bucks for sure yeah 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 so like pretty high end so like, like bougie yeah. so bougie gym wear <laughs> I'm just joking. Ed and bougie. Said gym wear. I'm just joking. I'm fucking with you. How dare you? <laughs> I'm making fun of my baby and it's not even born yet. <laughs> Ian makes fun of my baby all the time. It's like you're just a, you're an innocent bystander. You're taking the heat. Uh, um, no, I think it's great. And I think the line was great. And so I just wanted to congratulate you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you even asking about it. That means yeah. a lot. I think I'm going to fly over there is what I'm going to do. That's I've heard that that is a game yeah. changer if you actually have the time and the money yeah. to do that. It's I crazy. messaged him and I was like, "Look, I'm just gonna fucking come there, and you're gonna put the shit on my body. Yes, and we're gonna fix it until it's right, and then I'm gonna leave." That's like, from what I've heard, if you because we're looking to probably start domestic and eventually go overseas. Yeah, and once you do that, if you can like show face once a year at yeah. your manufacturer, it changes everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think I want to do too. Plus, you can do a cool trip. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really like. <laughs> <laughs> He's over it. <laughs> um. Anyway, okay, Nick, what's going on with you, man? We haven't talked about you. What's going on? Tell me, what's up? How you been? Great, bro. <laughs> you know, Are you cooking, guy? Yeah. yeah, guy. What the fuck? You come on and you leave. <laughs> yeah, he's smoking cigarettes back there. I'm trying to. <laughs> Nick, are you the most? Po- are you fucking getting high over there? Sit down. I, was, I fucking was filling this shit, idiot. How much weed did you just smoke? I filled this up, and then forgot this. Do you realize we have the most? Is Nick the most popular bodybuilder on earth? Him. Is he? No. In men's open, guys, probably up there. Yeah, him, Hottie Rammy, yeah. Hin Hottie Rammy. Hin Hottie Rammy. Rammy. Rammy probably took a hit after the Pittsburgh. Yeah. Nick's only popular because of us, Fuad. <laughs> Is that why? All right, come on. Well, Nick admitted it last week. So I don't I, I, I gave credit where credit he was due. He gave credit where it was due. It was, it was much appreciated. What'd he say? I'm the fucking man? He said, I, I got popular <laughs> because of my physique. And he said, then I got a little bit more popular because of my content. And then he said, I got really popular because of the podcast. Like, I didn't say. And really. I got really, really popular because <laughs> okay. I, maybe, that, you know, I probably embellished that a little popular from the. Podcast. I probably embellished that a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> you're loud. It's your podcast. You put your, you put your own fucking twist on it because you're the boss. <laughs> yeah, a little like, bit. Nick, this is what you really said. Okay? <laughs> what you really said. You started yeah, out I, okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, Nick, you starting diet. You're starting your diet early. It's like a month away. What's going on right now? Are you taking a break? Are you still hard? No, we're just doing a, a little recomp phase, letting the body kind of rest relax, uh, clear out the system, get some blood work done in a few weeks, and then we'll start prep. How's training with Kamal? <sighs> Is he killing you, or are you, are you going to... It's really... I know. I love training with Kamal. It's, it's a different type of animal, because he's very wow. high volume. But I've also <laughs> noticed, when I go back... Since he's in Libya right now, I've been going back to like the way I train a little bit. Yeah. And my strength is taking a small little hit here <laughs> from all because that of volume. volume. Yeah. yeah. But... My body looks more fuller, training more higher volume. You know what I like about this experiment? This is something I always wondered. So you took a guy with a fucking shitload of muscle and then obviously put and then and put him through all his volume. So how are you seeing your physique change? Like, does it look rounder? Does it look... I look thicker? rounder, fuller, and leaner. So you like the volume. You just don't like losing the strength. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mind fuck. But you know I, have, again, I have... Nick, I'll tell you this. Losing that strength, you're so fucking strong... That I think you going a little lighter is going to save your fucking joints, bro. Be a good thing. No, like, like it might be. I, a really I'm not upset about it. It was just like going at it again today. I was just like, oh shit, this is heavy. But like, when you say more volume, guy, give me an example. Wait a minute. Sorry, guy. I, just the counter to your point, and it's not for me because I like volume. The counter to your point. It, <laughs> what, 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 what the fuck are we pointing at? I'm pointing at guy. I'm pointing at who? You're pointing the straight counter- now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. now you're pointing, you're pointing at guy <laughs> <laughs> the counter to guy's point that they're going to say is the volume is going to create more wear and tear than the strength would 
No, I, I and guy, correct me if I'm wrong, but you would take every set to failure, yes? Yeah. Are you talking to me or Fouad? No, he you said guy. N now or back then? No, then, back then. Oh, right. every, every fucking they, well, set. We still don't do that. It's oh, still okay. like one or two sets to failure. Okay. But there's, it's just high reps until you reach that failure set. Like, meaning what? So give, your me, give, me, give me an example of an exercise. There, there is no feeder. Like, there is no, this set will do. So just reps. give me an example of like, if it's, you're doing it's like 12 to 15 every fucking set until yeah. you hit that failure peak. So, yeah, what, if you like incline dumbbells, what would you do? With the way he likes to do it, it'll yeah. be like 12 reps until you can't hit 12 no more. Yeah, that's so how you, that's but how where John do you start? Um, I mean, it depends. If we, this is the first exercise. Yeah, yeah, like first exercise, dumbbell press. I would, I mean, I would probably start with like 60s or 70s just to warm up. And then just of. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, like I wouldn't go, it wouldn't be like a lot, but it would be like 70s and maybe like 90s, then, you know, 110s. So that's how, guy, that's how I train. Like that's how but I But doing it like that, you're not going to do your strongest that you were no. able to. It's just not no. going to happen. Yeah. That's, I started doing. Now, obviously, I wasn't at my strongest because of my surgeries, but I started doing better numbers when I switched over to training the way John trained. Yeah, but that's how that is how John trains. John would tell me, get, I want reps of eight, sets of eight, and start at whatever weight you want to start at until you can't do eight no more. So yeah, I would eight. go, I would go 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Kamal, Kamal is a big fancy of the number 12. Yeah, but when he did that, there wasn't a lot of there, there wasn't a lot of exercises after that. It was like one or two more, and you were done. When he hit when he had like a, a eight and eight. Oh no, we do like no no. no I, I, I still did four exercises under John. After eight with eights, yeah, hmm. no three exercises after that. So yeah, for chest, I would usually do four exercises. Okay, right. So, but that's not that's kind of how I trained my whole life. Is I would just pyramid up. Right. I was more of, you know, warm up, you know, first, like if I did 70s, you'd be like 15, 20, the 90s would go down. And so yeah, I'm really able to reach a certain weight yeah. that I want to hit for like 10 to 12. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What, so I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to get off topic and like go on a tangent, but we're on a podcast. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, um, <laughs> the way I used to train, like if I was going to do dumbbell, like incline dumbbell press, yeah. I would do 50s for 15. Then I would do, that's not failure though right no 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 70 you just bring the reps down as your weight well yeah then i would do a hundreds for 12 then i would okay. do 120s for 12 then i would do 140s for 12 then i would do 150s for 10 then i would do like 160 or 170 for failure so and then i then so it's still technically one failure so yeah but what john changed but the accumulated i don't do the hundreds and the 110s i go right to the 120s for as many as I can, and then I'll jump, make another jump for as many as I can. So all those intermittent sets where it's like 70s, 80s, I, I do 50s, 60s, and then I'll go right to 80 for like three or four, and then I'll yeah, yeah, for like yeah, two. Yeah. So I'm not doing all those reps with the inner, with yeah, the amount so, of weight that I don't need. So guy, what John basically taught you was you're doing two working sets. Yes. Which is basically what Ian does. Yeah, see, I have a very hard time wrapping my head around doing so much volume that's sub, sub maximal, you know, yeah. like I want to save every ounce of strength and like energy I have for my top set. And then yep. you know, if I do a second, so do, do you do, do you always do two? Cause sometimes I'll do two in a back off. No, I do. I do two, like a top set and then I'll either do a back off or a second set with some sort of intensifier. So like, you'll never go two tops with a back off. No, dude, no, never more than two sets on big exercise. Like, look, if I'm doing some stuff like say quad extensions or fucking, you know, arm workout stuff or ductors or something, I might do three or four sets, um, you know, and, and bring them to failure, but not like a past past failure with assisted yeah. reps, yeah. you know, like a, a soft failure for me. Um, but yeah, for everything else, it's a, always so a, like a top set and then a back off with either an intensifier or not. So tonight I did, this is what I, so I did back and buys. So I did, metal rows first i did one set of 10 and then i did my second set was eight drop eight drop eight then I, I did two sets there then i went over to um close grip pull downs we're not going to do your whole back workout are we no it's, it's quick but i want to know if it is what ann would have done if we would have changed it then i did two sets of close grip pull downs then i did i'm sorry three sets of close grip pull downs then i did two top sets of incline dumbbell rows and then I did. Um, Let me just interject with a question. I did. I did two wait, sets. Wait, 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 wait! Don't go ahead. Wait. When you said you're doing two top sets, are you doing the same weight on both sets? 
Sometimes yes, sometimes I'll increase it. Increase, increase it. Okay. it. Increase it. Yeah, not See, decrease. increase. We would decrease. Did, yeah, I then I did decrease. two sets of reverse pull downs. Then I did um, two sets of rope pullovers. Sure. Yeah. So uh, would you like, is that? Yeah, I mean, that's similar. Like, look, I always do for a back, let's say like my main back workout, I'll do two rows, two pull downs and a pullover. Like those are yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. movements that I always yeah. do. Um, and say like, if, you know, if I'm doing a row, like right now, like, you know, if I'm trying to push a little more volume for a little more fat burning where I still have some food in me, I'm not worried about like losing muscularity or anything at this point. Um, you know, I would generally incorporate an intensifier on the second set of every exercise or at least four out of the five, maybe. Yeah. Um, when set, you say intensifier, you mean what? Like, so rest, like pause. rest pause, drop set, yeah. a cluster set, something okay. like that, you know? Yep. Um, you know, or even, or even maybe some kind of me mechanical technique, like say doing something like today we were doing uh, pendulum squats and we worked up to a top set and then we did one and a half on the second set. So okay. go all yeah, the way down, like that. For hold down all the way up, yep. like, you know? So we did with a little lighter load than the top set. Like I say, I worked up to four plates aside on it for the first one. That one, maybe I went to three aside and then did that mechanical, you know, change on so it. So Nick, that's, that's what you used to do, but you're not doing now. Not exactly. It's just more reps over long, like over a long period of time, really. Yeah. The only thing I really, yeah, so that's, that's the same thing just with then more volume put into the So what he's step. doing guy, what he's doing is he's still doing a failure set. Yeah. But he's doing, Higher reps leading up to the yeah, the warm ups yeah. stay the same as but yeah. The purpose of that, I completely understand. Obviously, you're tr still trying to get a max load top set with max effort and the back off for secondary set, but then you're just adding into the overall volume of the workout with the rest of the sets. Yeah, so you said you don't understand why they're doing that though, because it's not they're sub maximal, like the set. No, one... I'm explaining that's why they're doing it. No, but you said before, you said I don't understand. Yeah, why no, you I know do that. I, that for me, I can't. I can't do sets like, but see, I, I, it depends on the reps. Cause like, you know, say if I'm doing like a leg press and I want to work up to, let's say 10 plates aside, just for an even number, you know, I would go like, let's say two plates, four plates, six plates, eight plates, 10 plates yeah. um, per side. Yeah. Um, but I would like, I would keep the reps low for sure. Cause What's like low, what's low for legs, well, for like over six plates, six, six, eight, let's say I would be doing like four to five reps at most. Okay. So yeah. that's the difference between me. Yeah, I would still do like 10. Yeah. Yeah. So see, right. that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, in there, do you feel it take away, it takes away from your top set a little bit? Yeah. You're, that's what you're saying. Right. If that's I do it like, with come on. No, it's different. Like if I do it my way, like I would still do like 10 reps. Yeah. Um, and the heavier I go, I would go down, but mainly I would stay in 10 until I reach my top. Yeah, I, guess, set. I guess the difference here with is just Kamal, just... with Kamal with legs, it's fucking 20 reps. Yeah. See, like for me in my head, I, I I just wouldn't still. I would just be like, yeah, I did two sets of everything. I just did more warm up sets. Like you so know, this I is why. Can I explain? So my reasoning, for me, it's just a matter of injury, and this isn't just because I'm old. This isn't just it, 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 doing it that the Kamal's way is definitely a safer way. This it's not just because I'm older. I mean, even when I was younger, I I wanted to do at least if I'm on a leg press, my top sets, like my working sets, are going to be sets of twenty. I'm still going to do tens leading up to the end, right? So, like when I get to set, set twelve, set uh, with twelve plates, and then a set with fourteen plates, those are my working sets. And okay, so what's? Let, let me ask you a question. What's on the ones working up to that that are like, let's say, the last one or two before? To so say you work up to ten plates, like I said, you know, and you're doing ten reps all the way up to ten plates, and then you're doing twenty reps with that. Why not do six reps or eight reps? Do you find those extra two, three, four reps are making that big of a difference that it might yeah. add one rep onto your, or one you know plate aside onto your 20 yeah. rep set? I might, I might do a set of eight if I'm feeling really good. Okay. But generally, I just like to get the blood flowing sure. and get a full, yeah. you know what I mean? I, yeah. just, I might do a set of six, but most of the time it's going to be eight to 10 at least. Yeah, see, for me, it's mostly like... <laughs> Unless it's the first exercise of the day, I'm really just doing them to acclimate slowly to the load. Like I can't get yeah. under my first set and do eight plates aside on a, a you know, on a half. Uh -huh. Yeah, axle. I agree. You know, like I need to work up, and even if it's one or two reps, it's just it's less of a warm up at that point, more just trying to like feel the movement and have my my nervous system acclimate. You know, but, but, but the thing we were describing, but the thing we were describing earlier was sorry, guy. Just he's saying like your first movement of incline dumbbell, same thing. First movement, I'm gonna go. 60, 80, 90, or yeah, 60, yeah. 80, but one, 10, 120. 10, 10, 10, 10. I need to do eight to 10 to feel good yes. getting up to 140. Sure. Okay. So that's, that's, doesn't, doesn't Justin do that? Doesn't Justin? Well, so the more, I feel like the more, more right away. Yeah. 
better fields. Justin, Justin, doesn't Justin jump right to heavyweight like immediately with like no, not Justin really does wide. more what Justin does more what Ian does. I'm pretty sure. He yeah, does Justin like not quite similar. I th- yeah. see, but do you... sorry, I forgot my. I do I think it's going to take away from my strength on the end? Is that what you're worried about? Yes, Number. but yeah, it will. I, I, I had think another it, thought. I can't remember what it was. Though. I think it will, but I think failure is failure. <laughs> like I'm still getting yeah. the most out of my muscle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I well, yeah. That being said, like I don't, I don't feel smaller. No, man. no. Sorry. What I was gonna say. What I was gonna say is, do you th- like? I'm trying to think of how to word this. I'll come back to it. Just say it. I don't care. Is it? Is it gonna hurt my feelings? No, I, I, I can't like gather my thoughts on it. All right. Well, come back. We maybe you're too stoned. I think so. I keep forgetting <laughs> what my point is. Guy disappeared for a little while. And now his eyes are half shut. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Okay, so what do we do? So, oh, sorry. Yes, no, I got it. I got okay, it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> See, I think I would do that. I just wouldn't consider those sets leading up as more volume. You know, like I wouldn't consider that work. So I wouldn't say it's higher volume. I would count my sets where I'm like to failure as my actual volume of training. Um, and if I just did 10 all the way up, like say even if I was working up to 200 pound dumbbells, you know, yeah. I don't know if I would count that as volume as much unless it's the working set. So I, I guess it's really the same thing. It's just, you know. Go ahead, guys. Two- yeah. Guy, go ahead. So have you guys ever, and, and I'm going to lead into this. I was on a phone with a client and I was telling, like he was asking me like as far as sets reps and I was going over it with him and he goes only three sets. And I was like, yeah, bro. On that exercise, he goes, I usually do like five or six. And I go too much. What? No, no, they're all feeders. He's counting. No, he literally counting warm up sets. That's and I go, I mean. bro, I go, you never, ever, ever, ever count fucking warm up sets as a fucking working set. Yeah, I think it's it's a mind blown that he yeah. thought I, that was okay. And I'm like, I can't believe, like, ever, I guess people actually fucking do that. Like, they no, can. No, I, I do that. I do that, guy. I'll say, <laughs> I'll say, do four sets of incline, but I will tell people your last set is your failure set. The failure set is the one that matters, right? So yeah, but I, he, was, he literally the, the, the said three sets are they bringing like close to failure? Yeah, then he can say that. He it. made it seem like those warm up sets are fucking also working sets. Yeah, my second I last set. Like, no, that my second last like set that. is going to bring me close to failure, Ian. Yeah. Okay. So like, if I'm if I get on the bench press, I'm going to do one thirty five. How many reps so would you stop shy of failure? Well, like two. Let's say let's let's say bench press. Uh, yeah, that that makes sense. So like, if we're on the bench press and I get to three fifteen. I'm going to knock out 10, but I might be able to get... Well, you probably could get 12, you know. Yeah, I could probably get 13 or 14 if I was going to... Okay. Do that now because I do that now. Like, I used to, like, push beyond failure and, like, maybe even get, like, one forced rep or, like, like with help. I don't do that anymore. Once I feel like I'm going to failure... Yeah, I'm none of, none of nothing I'm saying counts for how I'm training right now. Let, I'm let me ask about, you, why would you not just bring that set to 13 or 14 then at failure? Because I'm saving my failure set for the last... I just want to do one failure set at the very end. Yeah, but like you're kind of wasting energy both ways. So like you might as well make it an optimal set, you know? Maybe. Who I'm saying if he pushed a little harder, he might not what? be able to go as heavier the following set. I get that, but then in that case, just do less reps on your warm-up sets, you know? There's an argument for both. Yeah, listen. In other words, you wait can a do second. 315 for like six. Okay, wait, 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 yeah. time out. So Ian, I'm not saying I'm not saying anything you said is wrong about. No, no, I, I don't train. think yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to exp- get it. I like, literally I literally the way I trained was just very simple. Oh, I was I, I was just like Whatever I start with, I'm going to work up to this final set, and this final set is going to be everything I have. If yeah. I did less reps to begin with, you're right. Maybe I could have done heavier weight at the end, yeah. but it's just, I don't know. It's just the way I did it. It's just the way I was comfortable doing it. What are you laughing at, Stoner? <laughs> you have a thing. When you make a point, you have a thing. You go, you do this all the time when you're making points. You do, yes, it's you do this, and you always have, end up going like this. Or like this. <laughs> that's why the whole time you're talking, I'm like, that's like your dad move. You're like uh, the hand <laughs> talker. Yeah. yeah, he's like, what he's karate chopping air. He's like, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. So like this. <laughs> Watch, just pay attention. Now. now I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna sit with my hands down here. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I used to when I started training for many years, and like it's hard to even conceptualize for me now. Like I would do four sets of everything. Mm-hmm. It was always four. And I say I would do like yeah. 12, but I would pyramid. pyramid up. I would get heavier every set. Yep. Same yeah. shit. I think that's just like, a young fucking. Yeah. So like, like, even if it was curls, I would do like the thirties for 12, the forties for 12, the fifties yeah. for 12, yeah. the sixties for 12. But it was like, why, you know, 
Why would I go heavier like that instead of like just doing a couple warm ups and starting with 70s for 12 and then working down? Yeah, yeah. Because then sense. I could yeah. 60 50, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, it of makes sense. 60, 70, 80, you know? The only thing I could say is just it felt right. It felt like I, I can't do. So we should explain to people what the difference between a warm up and a feeder is. Because to me, they're kind of the same thing. Like kind of both same. of them are meant I to. I feel like I say a warm up. I, to me, a warm up is like, like 12 and above, and a feeder is like six and below. That can okay, make sense. Can, that can I make sense. That's what I would yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, warm up bench is, press, like if I'm doing bench press and I'm starting with one plate or two plate, I might do 10, 12 reps, 10, and those 12. are more warm up. But then once there's some warmth to the muscle and I get to three plate, four plate, I might only do, yeah, three, four. So five, I guess I would describe there's an acclimation. You know? So I would agree yeah, with what I said or not. Yeah, yeah. I would. Uh, you're right, guy. I would describe it like this warm up is to just to get the muscle loose. Blood flow. Feeder, feeder is more to get the muscle acclimated to the weight before you get into yes. a heavier I mean, set. Prior I agree with that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the difference between me and you, Ian, is I needed, I felt like I needed more reps to get acclimated. Like if I was going to do four plates on an incline, I would felt like I needed to do three plates for a significant number before I could go yeah. to four. If I did two reps, I wouldn't feel like yeah, we're ready. going to four. Yeah, I just, I mean, I'm in my head. Like I know if I did 12 reps with three plates right before I did four plates, like You're, that's going to make a serious dent. It's going to suffer a bit. Yeah. Two to three reps for sure on my four plates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like it's you know where's the, where's more cherished. I would never do twelve. It, I would never do twelve. If I was doing three plates, it would be eight. on a bench. It would be six to eight, probably eight, okay, and then so I would move on. Very four. different than I'm doing. Yeah. Well, I thought you were more like in the two threes. Well, if I'm get once I'm getting to big big numbers, but like with a three plates, if I was working up, I would probably do yes. Well, excuse me, that's eight, big yeah. big numbers. He me. said once I work. I know. <laughs> like, sorry, I can't, I'm I'm sorry, I can't bench seven four plates. Quarter, you know? Okay, and that we're all not fucking gorillas, bro. We're I know. The fuck? No, I, he was <laughs> going to about four. So yeah, four is where I would four, stop. I'm more like a chimpanzee. Yeah. No, right, no bro? that's that's the same. Like if I was doing yeah. up to four, I might do three fifteen for six to eight, and I might go to three and a quarter, do like one or two or three. Oh, and so then I, I do that. Four. So, okay, yeah. see, so yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are gonna love my gym. What gym is it? Uh, Golds and Bridgewater. Nick, you were yeah, just at a. Uh, you were just at the great gym. System, like the day before I got here. Yes, I was. Yeah, everyone was like, oh, Nick was just here. You trained you with where? him. Like, I, I didn't hear where you said. John De La Rosa's gym. Oh, that's gym. right. Were you I there that a, day or no? I was there later in that day, yeah. I heard that's a great gym. It's amazing. It's yeah. yeah, Ian was raving about it last week. When he was yeah, on. I like it a lot. You know what I used this week? Uh, I, I did a video shoot with uh, Victor Martinez for um, Panada. And, uh, man, there's some like really Are you sponsored bad. by Panada now, too? No, he just asked me to fucking shoot a video with him. I was like, sure. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. I, I, I actually say, I use I use their shoulder and their chest pieces. I, like I was I was actually impressed with them, man. Some of their pieces I love, like their their regular leg press I don't like. Um, their vertical leg press is whatever. I didn't they use. Have a lot they of, didn't have any like a lot of really nice back machines. Some of their pull downs and rows I love. I and like their shoulder, that shoulder that shoulder press and that weird Smith machine thing that's like yeah the Smith that like yeah, goes like this and Nathan uses oh, I, I fucking that love thing. that. Oh, I oh, think it's awesome. Oh. Uh, it's, pressing, it's incredible. Yeah, I think it's awesome. It was felt great on my shoulders. I loved it. Yeah, so, uh, incline is, I feel, incline uh, barbell or dumbbell. Pay your fucking bill, bro. <laughs> you cut out what? for a minute there. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna, you guys might roast me for this, but I feel like Panada is new. I know it's not. I don't new. like it. I know it's not new, but it feels new, feels flimsy, and does not feel like the old school shit feels flimsy i find it feels, it feels like the most sturdy of any of the new brands it's, it's like the fucking no, no. it's like compare the, TR, it it's like the school, trx of fucking compare, compare it to old school cybex or old school fucking nautilus it's not i'm sorry it's not i like i like a land but it's completely yeah. different design though it's not nothing You're like right that. it is completely different it's poop <laughs> I think they're. I Would think they're eating for ten million. I think they got some good stuff. They got I, some I just books. nothing I've tried of theirs blew me away. I'm sorry. Compared have to you old, tried any of the? Okay. Compared to the old stuff, I'm like, ah, it's not that. I I love okay. old I mean, equipment. Look, there's some great old equipment, but there's some that isn't great, very smooth, and some that their axis of like you know a plane of training is not as nice. You know, like I find with a lot of the Panadas and stuff, like they're one smoother than any equipment I've used, and they're very good at like. The angles and like it's the chest pressures converge at the right angle and like you know I, those I find it they're very ergonomic. I haven't used uh, look. I'm going to preface this with I've only used 
some pieces. I haven't used all of their stuff, but the stuff I have used, I don't feel compares to the older equipment. I was at Madtown Fitness this weekend. Um, everything he has in there is old school, and it, and he has some new Panada stuff. Um, the old school stuff is fucking incredible. I, I just. Yeah. It just feels. Well, better. I mean, I like though. I think and I think nothing compares to the old school stuff. I'm in agreement. So I'm not going to argue with you there. But that's yeah, I mean, there's I'm also saying, a nostalgic right? like, factor to old equipment that we all love too. I, I agree. There. No, I, I try to separate that. I try to separate the like, oh, it's like hardcore versus. No, I, yeah, but I don't think. I, I think no matter what you do, it's it, you're going to have that in the back of your mind no matter what. That's no, like because I'm not that kind of equipment. Person. That's the equipment that like we grew up on and watching. Like no, no, no. I'm not, I didn't. I grew up on fucking Atlantis. I'm not that kind of person. Like I like Atlantis. Some people are like, oh, you got to get an old Mustang. I'm like, no, I want a new fucking Corvette. That's fast as fuck. With you know what I money. called today? <laughs> um, Auto Trader. I called. <laughs> what? I I was calling for. Uh, I saw two Bronco twos that I called on to see what. <laughs> oh, get the fucking Scout. I'm telling you. The what? The Scout. What it's all that? about the scouts. Is that old? Yeah. What is it? Uh, Ford? I don't know who makes scout. Volkswagen. Is it Volkswagen scout? So. I don't think so. Yeah, it's a VW scout. Yeah. Is it a VW? Hold on. VW SCOUT. Scout like that. Look at it. Some cars. Here. Images. I'll show you guys. That's Ooh, not old. Yeah. That oh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah, I would fuck. Oh, that's pretty badass. Right here, look like at that. Auto Trader. Yes, that's nice. Auto Trader. Let me check it. VW Scout. I do. It's okay. Look at that one. Yeah, I like that. I don't like the paint. I like the size of it though. Almost looks like a fucking blazer though. I gotta say, I don't think I'm ever getting rid of my TRX. Why? I love it, bro. Yeah, you know what? I got mine back from the shop, but I'm like, fuck. Look at that. That's fucking nice. Wait, it doesn't even come up. Is it Volkswagen? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even come up on Look Auto Trader. This. I would buy this tomorrow. That's fucking sick. Oh, they might be international back then. Yeah, type it for brand international. Yeah, international Scout Two. Yeah. What? International Scout Two. No, it's not coming up for Volkswagen. It's not coming international. up international. International. Type in international Scout. The brand is international. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. You fucks. Look at this fucking thing. Tell me you wouldn't drive that shit. Yeah, International's dope. not even on here. Infinity and Isuzu. Huh. I'm buying this. I'm going to find out who made this. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I'm pissed off now. Where the fuck is this thing? I don't know. Don't worry about it, guy. Just forget it. Let's move on. You're an asshole. <laughs> it's not my fault you can't find it. It's right there. The name is right there. Look, the <laughs> name is right here. Just get off your auto trader app and just fucking go on Google and International type in. Scout. Yeah, it's International Scout it. 2 for sale. You're not going to find it on Auto Trader. Scout 2. Okay. <laughs> Young hot singles near me. So you're keeping the uh so you're keeping the TRX? Keep it. Okay? Yeah. Are you going to take it Are you going to take it off road ever? Probably. When? I want to see. I want to be there. I'm trying to what? Am I take it off road? No, because then if I fuck it up, I'm gonna end up fighting you. <laughs> <laughs> so I get so pissed off. Do you have the rock guards on yours, or do you have the retractable steps? Retractable. I ripped mine right off when I went fast when I went off roading. You know that, eh? Uh, so I know the guy. So they didn't come with my truck. So I, they were like, they didn't I, come with mine either. I had them put it they're on. They're not great. So they're, I don't know how much yours were. Mine were twenty five hundred. So I would have been pissed. Mine were fifteen, I think. They're, the oh, my were 25. The, they're probably the same ones are the amp research steps yeah the amp research makes them and they, they went the, and when they're attracted they go Burr. yeah they make them for all the trucks yeah Burr. i mine ripped Burr. right off on the right side does ford not make it with steps the, the trx doesn't make it they, they come with a rock the rock sliders on them the rock guards you know those the, the steel yeah, steps yeah, that stick yeah, up. yeah they're just they're there. stationary ones but i didn't want those. Get I that the truck retractable with, ones you can't get that truck with those fucking stupid steps why they look good no you got to get the retractable ones oh, i'm surprised they don't make the retractable an option no they don't no, they, you, they, you no get, because they know because they know get it on no they do yeah, it like because, why wouldn't they do it no because they, they do it for the exact reason why 
mine got ripped off. You wouldn't ever go off-roading with the retractable ones. Oh, I mean, no. It's like 1% of people actually offer on their TRS. I know, but they're trying to actually create the market, right? So like, this is the rock. This is what it comes with. Like this rock. Yeah, right? I know. I know. I'm just showing for people who gives a shit. Who you like the shit. rack in the back? I didn't get it. I was debating. It. I do like the rack. People make fun of that. I love this fucking thing. Do you have it? I didn't I get those. it. I didn't get it because you can't put a tonneau cover on with yeah. this rack. No, I think you can put the cover on that I have. You can, no, you can no, get you, a type, but I don't know. Yeah, I have, I have the retractable cover that you push. It relates Oh, wait, there up. you go. That's yeah, it right there. Yeah. I guess you can do both. Yeah, okay. see? Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. I would have got that for sure. I love that thing. There, there you go. Down, right side, second one down. No, next to that on the right. Shit. Go back. No, click the X. Click the X there. One second. Here. I was looking at them this today, one? actually. I was like, right, right. Click the X again. <clears throat> Where? This one? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> this one? Yes. <laughs> That's a folding normal flip tunnel cover with the thing. No, right it's there. not. This is a retractable. Yes, it is. No, that's a hard flipping tunnel cover. You can see the creases in it. No, it's not. This is a retractable. They're small creases. Look, small crease, small crease, small crease, small crease. Oh, you might be right. Yeah. I'm positive I'm right. You yeah, that's I, I. That's what I, those were, that fucking, that cover. Did you get the tunnel. automatic one where you push the button and the tunnel cover rolls back? No, I got the one where you just, you click the button and just push it and it goes. Oh, you cheap motherfucker. Cheap motherfucker. That was twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah, pay the extra money. You get a little little thing. You. Go, I didn't even know that was an option. Oh, of course it is. Fuck. It. It. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Now I'm cheap. You cheap motherfucker. I spent thirty one hundred dollars between that and the fucking <laughs> liner. <laughs> you spent all your money on fucking weed. You should have got the fucking the button. <laughs> yeah, you should have got the clicker. The clicker. I'll, yeah, I'll give you a fucking clicker. So what else are we doing for the TRT Olympics? We got to do sumo wrestling. Sumo wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> He just wants to be able to fucking throw me because he's fatter than me. <laughs> so long as what he wants to do. He wants to prove that he can toss me because he's fatter. What if like, I, I can't, though? That's more embarrassing. Ready. If I try tossing. What happens if I just grab you and fucking body That's what I'm him. saying. You got that old man strength. You have that, that yeah, outdoor you like, the world, like, You have like that outdoor like, how am I, I old, I hunt. Wait, how do I have old man strength when you are fucking clearly older? I'm just saying you have that like Ready, hunter, that hunter strength, like the rough hands. Outdoors <laughs> strength. And my, you might grab a hold of me, and I might be like, "Holy fuck, guy's strong as fuck." You watched the UFC this weekend, Fuad? Yeah, I did. Yeah. It was fucking crazy. The last fight. The last fight was fucking wild. Can you guys do me a favor from that one. Those I don't guys know much about. Each other. I don't know much about UFC. If there's a good fight, can you guys let me know? Because I'll buy yeah. it and watch it. I, I you know, know what? I didn't even think it was going to be a great card. I, I don't know. That. I'm not. I, I, don't, I'm, I just. It's no, funny. No, no, I the, bought the card. I bought the card because I wanted to watch Shevchenko fight because she's yeah. fucking crazy. And yeah. her fight was the most boring of the whole card. Sucked balls, man. She sucked. Got, and I, to be honest, I didn't think she won the fight either. She lost. Balls. I thought she lost too. Yeah. She yeah. listen the first three balls. rounds. She lost for sure. Yeah, I thought it was three two in terms of rounds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What? But man, that last fight, the fucking Yuri fight and uh, Texera, that was like that was a roller coaster. I didn't order it because I thought Yuri was going to win for sure. Yeah. No. It, I mean, it was it was all man. It was like. One second he's beating the shit out of him, then he's taking him down, beating the shit out of him. It was so back and forth. It was crazy. What are you laughing at? You fucking Nick, stole it. We try to get Nick's attention for five minutes and he's clicking a fucking pen. I noticed something about you, guy. So since we're talking about things we notice about each other. <coughs> whenever you're you don't know guy. whenever you don't know something about a topic, you fuck with Nick because you're like a little kid in class. <laughs> you're like, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna act out. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick's like the Dude, fucking friend that's not paying attention. He was like this. Sorry. <laughs> He's clicking the clicker for your tunnel. He's still talking about the tunnel, tunnel cover. It's the tunnel cover clicker. Yeah. All right. So what do we do? We're all getting in Friday. Yeah. Are we gonna yeah, barbecue? When are you coming Friday? over? Friday night? Yeah, let's what's, barbecue. What's our schedule uh, of events here? For Saturday. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah. So Friday, we are we doing anything Friday? Friday that is before? free. Friday's okay. free. Okay. Saturday. What time, is what time Saturday. do you all get in? I get I in at like I got to check the check. One second. Do you guys want to come here, train, chill, barbecue, whatever? Yes. I get in at uh, 2 52 p.m. I get in this. at 12 55. Nick Walker, 12 55. Justin Shire, 3 30. Ben Chow, 242. Ian, 250. Ian, I could grab your food if you're dieting. Who had 12 o'clock? Have, have stuff here for you. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Friday Saturday food, and then I'll buy and cook there. Yeah. Okay. All right. You can so, cook in my house too if you need to. So we get in somewhere between twelve and three, all of us. Three thirty. Okay. Justin Shire. Um. So 
Friday is free. Saturday afternoon is a hostile event. So what time is that? I think it's 12 to 3 or 12 to 5. Um, It'll probably end up being 12 to 5. Well, I think it might be 12 to 3, and then we're going to train. And then we have the... uh, Oh, we're going to train? Yeah, we're going to train Saturday evening, and then we have the night out with Patrick at Aries. That's in where Edison or something, right? I don't know. We'll we'll talk about it on uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I think Saturday's at the Mount Laurel location. No, no, uh, the hostile night. event. Yeah, but he's yeah, talking about the night out. He's talking about after. Oh. So I'll text you guys about that, and then uh, Sunday, we do the live podcast, and then we train again Sunday with Ooh. a couple of the fans that won VIP or Ooh. VIP. So we're training Saturday and Sunday. So I don't know what days off you guys have, but I thought Friday we would just hang out. Okay. Ian, I think you're, the one, you're the one prepping. So uh, what's my Nick. day? Today, Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, I train. I'm off Thursday. I'll train Friday, Saturday. I'll be off Sunday. Can you guys change? So you your want schedule? to flip flop Thursday and Friday? And take Thursday off or train Thursday and take Friday off? I can I can take probably Friday off. I'll just train all three fucking days. I'll, tra- I'll train right through, like I train fourth day in a row on Friday. Uh, uh, wait, no. I think we should, t- if you can, if you guys can take Friday off, we should Friday just hang out Friday. Friday, Sunday. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nick, yeah, come here. Nick, can you take Friday off instead of? Like- I'm not driving two hours to guy's house. What the Nick, fuck I'm are you talking about? You're not going to come hang out at a fucking guy's house? What are you talking about? No. I don't have a car, bro. Oh, you're hanging out at your mom's? Oh, your parents don't have a fucking vehicle? They won't lend you, you fucking idiot? Yeah, Nick. I think it's important that you come. <laughs> yeah, or you're fired. No. I said, Is how, that how how you are you guys? You said no, or you're fired. How far are you from Patrick? He's an hour Aries? from me. He's an hour. From not you. I said Aries. How are no, you? guy. I'm literally like an hour and 40 from you. Text me your address now. I'll give you my. No, I'm not going to give you my. I'll Can text you guys <laughs> stop for a second. How far are you from Aries? Which one? The one of the hostile events at Mount Laurel. That's 25. Okay, that's what makes sense. So he's going to spend the day at his house, his parents on Friday, and meet us on Saturday. Whatever, Nick. Fuck you. Sorry, no. love you. It's a little harsh. I think that. Yeah, I think that was a little much. Oh my God! Shut up, both of you. Do we have you to do we have to bring our own steaks or are you going to have steaks for us? I'm going to have, well, you guys tell me you want. I, get, I can go, I was going to go to my buddy's Italian bakery and get fucking a bunch of Italian shit. Ooh, I like Italian like, shit. Like, like fucking chicken cutlets, meatballs, fucking rice balls. Did you notice protein. on Telegram that I'm the least fat person on that, on that thing? Because you're actually eating it. You're not talking about Wait, it. Wait, no, I no, feel no. like, dude, Lee Priest doesn't miss a fucking beat. He's on it all day. Listen, you know what I noticed? On this, on the podcast, I am the fattest person and the most food craving motherfucker and on telegram i'm like just not even fucking like frank and frank and, and lee, and uh, lee frank, are yeah. the fattest motherfuckers Ev- evan can't be that bad though evan Evan's likes food a lot more than i thought he did yeah yeah he talks about food a lot more than i thought he would but anyway yeah but you know what he talks about it but i never see him eating it <laughs> uh, so you think he's just playing the game yeah i don't think he's like shit i think he's fucking fooling us all I think he eats some McDonald's. Love McDonald's. I haven't had McDonald's in years. I, I got, I think the older I've gotten, I got like highly. Why are you itching? Do you got monkey pox? No. I fucking, <laughs> from going fishing, I'm like highly allergic to fucking mosquitoes now. Like I have welts on. Everybody me. itches when they get a mosquito bite. You're not highly. So the fuck are you talking about? No, really? there, but I get like, I, no, no, no. But like usually, usually when you get a mosquito bite, you get like a little welt. Like, I'm getting well. I've gotten big welts before. What do you mean? Yeah. I got them all over. God, you're not special. That's because you keep itching it. Stop itching it. Crazy what are you, my fucking Stop mother? Shut up. up. Guy Stop thinks he's special. It. He got, got bit by a mosquito. He's special because he gets bigger welts. Me fucking go. I mean, you know, I can't even... I'm allergic oh, you know to mosquitoes. You know what? <laughs> Poor guy. I'm itchy, guys. Guys. I guys think I'm allergic to mosquitoes. I'm itchy. <laughs> it's like all of us. <laughs> we all fucking itch, you bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit it. it's kind of stupid <laughs> that's not what i meant like if i showed you my arm you'd be like fuck let's see it let's see, let's see. It. i want to see how big all your clothes off. let's see how big you are 
Look at my fucking arm, bro. Where? Look at that. It just looks like a regular mosquito bite. Oh, no, bro. Yeah, bro. Put your fucking shirt on. No, bro. No, bro. No, bro. <laughs> um, how was your trip with your dad, man? I was fucking jealous. It looked amazing. It's fucking awesome, man. It's I yeah, mean, it's, it's, it's guy. I don't know if you know Ian, but guy went away with his dad to a cabin up That's north. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you you put in your stories too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it looked fucking incredible. It's awesome, bro. You're just off. Were you off your phone the whole time? Yeah, like, when you were like, yeah, I, like when we <clears throat> so we wake up at like six in the morning, and then uh, we're in the stream by like seven. So the uh, Friday was the first day we fished. We fished from like seven to two, and then uh, we go back. We have you know, something to eat, chill for like 45 minutes, an hour, go back out for another three, four hours, come back, have dinner, hang out, fucking bonfire, fire pit. So who was it? Your, your dad and who else? So it was my dad, my uncle, my uh, old training partner, Rich. Um, then there's uh, a kid I played high school football with, um, uh, his cousin, his father-in-law, um, my dad's buddy, Jimmy, his son, and uh, then there was two uh, like random friends they brought. There was ten of us. This is the most New York Italian fucking thing I ever heard there with that group of people. Like my buddy Jimmy from high school would play football, and his fucking dad's cousin's uncle, and like you know this guy from back in the day. Like you know that was a. Why did your accent, accent just go Texan though? Uh, I don't know. That was just yeah. Like, what the fuck was that about? I thought that was a new. It was like is that your attempt at a New York accent? No, that was Texan. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> so fucking. Funny. He's like yeah, my cousin and his dad. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fucking from New Jersey. That's, that's just where. About? That's just where it went. Yeah. So. Honestly, though, that sounds like the coolest shit ever because I always want to do that kind of stuff and I never fucking do it. So the reason why it, I, it's good, I keep my phone in the truck when I'm in the water because Jimmy, my dad's buddy, his son, Tyler, <laughs> fucking had chest waders on and you got to be careful because you fucking catch a rock that's slippery. And I, I fell in the first year I was there and fucking water in my fucking... This motherfucker fell in head first fucking have like eight gallons in his fucking thing fucking phone destroyed you guys yeah, go fly, are you fly fishing your phone's waterproof uh fly fishing and uh like like regular spin rod real, real fishing yeah yeah aren't, aren't all phones waterproof right now bro phone is dumb yeah but i uh, dropped my phone in water the other day oh no no this is what happened he dropped it and it had a crack in the screen uh, so when he got water in it it fucking seeped into the phone you're fucked then. I had my dog in the pool today. Mother Saw f- that. Hey, did you Mother see f- I saved the bam- uh, deer? Yeah, I did. It's about that already. Oh. And tell us again. <laughs> he spent 15 minutes with it on the side of the road. Until and nobody it. stopped. And nobody stopped. They just kept going. He nursed fuck it back to hell. What did you do if I shut my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> I just said, fuck all three of you. Yep. I do like those apples, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some questions. We haven't done any questions. Okay. What shows are coming up? Anybody know what shows are coming up? My, uh, Orlando. What is Orlando. that? July 2nd. That's where we're going to be there. And then, but is that, that's open class too, right? Puerto Rico is this, is soon. Yeah, yeah. Orlando. Puerto Rico is this week or next week. Poor. So what, that's what Hassan's doing, I believe. Yeah, he's doing Puerto Rico in Orlando. Is Hassan going to shock the world or what? Looks really good. He's going to be in better shape than he has been. That's for sure. So my question then is this. If Hassan is fucking shredded, do his narrow clavicles hold him back or does he crush everybody? Well, I mean, look, look he, it's, he's going to be better if he's peeled, but no, he's not going to all of a sudden be a top six Olympia guy. No. Fuck no. Hmm. There is still other you know things that are as great in his physique that would need to improve. You know, I think a lot of it is posing. I think it's a lot of posing. I think also his like midsection kind of how everything ties together that plus the narrow clavicles don't help. I also don't think he's insanely detailed, you know? No. Yeah. Well, I think right. a lot we of also that. haven't seen him in crazy conditions. So That's this what I'm saying. No. like this here, let me show you this. This fucking freaked me out a little bit. So this freaked is, you out. well, I just how good it is. That was That's not even throwback. That's not, good, it's not even recent. I know, but just look like, yeah, so bad. If but, see, but he wasn't even in shape at that show, and that's what that I looks know. Like. That that's what I'm saying. I can't imagine if this is like crisp and detailed and shredded how it's going to look. Yeah, that's like, not even how he looked on stage, though. No, I see know. this. This is where I see the the structural inadequacies, like the waist and how the lats kind of just like bubble out a little strangely. There's not a lot of taper to it, you know. 
I wonder how much of it is posing though, Ian. I, I've, you know, I took a look at this last time. I was talking to the other guys about this on the other podcast. If he posed this front relax different, it could look dramatically different. He's pulling back his shoulders instead yeah. of rolling them forward. And it's making his chest look smaller and his waist look bigger. Yeah. And I think if he shortened his waist and rolled the shoulders forward, he would look bigger and thicker up top and the waist wouldn't look as wide. Yeah. I mean, either way, he's going to be, this is, that is better conditioning than like looking even from the back. This that's is better, better than, than he was than all he's last ever year. been on stage ever, you know? Yeah. yeah. But that's my whole point is when this shows up and it's peaked per- properly, you know, does he fuck a lot of people up all of a sudden? Because this is nah, he's got too much. He's got too much thigh gap. <laughs> I mean, he, it, it changes where he can place, but I, it, it does not like, it's not making him jump, like I said, up to a top five guy. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, like guys like, you know, Shabon and stuff like that, that were like kind of in the same realm as him. You know, if he comes in peel with comparable kind of conditioning to guys like that, then he can start beating them consistently. You know, I think he does have more muscle and a better physique. I mean, look, if you, if you look at all these photos, the only shots that are not good, his front double needs a little work, his front relax needs a little work. But all these other shots, like this back lat spread, that's Dude. great. Yeah. The side his side shots are fucking nuts. Yep. It's really just the front relaxed, which could be solved with some better posing. And the front double. Well, the front lat could be a little better too, but I don't know if it's uh yeah. Front double, yeah. I don't know. I think there's a lot more here. Front double. There we go. It's because of what you said, Ian. Like the lats don't really pop hard enough. And then the waist looks a little thicker. And just like the, 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 the lines. Lines. But if you remember, but if you remember, Nick was doing this too, right? Like he's stretching out his abdominal wall. He should crunch down. Yeah. yeah. If he brings it down, this could look dramatically different. Because he's got a long torso. So right. He's got short legs and long torso. Yeah. And he's pulling it up even higher. And it's making it's kind of ruining the shot. I actually never did that. And I should have done that in my day. Well, because if, always... if you had a shorter to- torso, it would make you look better. No, what if, I'm you saying, have, if you already what have what I'm a saying is, is I should have sucked oh, down. I, down. I yeah. always went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do I. I've been, I've been practicing the, the come down though. I think it I'm I'm on the fence with it. It depends you know on who, who I, you are. Ian, your your torso is not long, so bring it up higher might look better. You know it, who did it one year and I hated it? Branch. What stretched out? No, crunched down. Oh yeah. Oh, brought he down. Did that one year and I hated it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't think if you have a if you don't have a, a long torso. Yeah, like it gives it's better me, to elongate it. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah, like Ramy elongates it. You know. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, sorry, I don't know how we got onto that. So Puerto Rico is when questions. I'm trying to open the damn, but the IP Pro League site's not loading for me. Okay, so Puerto Rico, gets, and then we have or, is Orlando's an open class too, right? Yeah, that's open. yeah. And then probably Van. There's a Portugal or one of those ones, right? Big Man or something. There was something we were talking about on Telegram, and it came up again today on more plates, more dates. Posted something about uh, some girl losing it on a guy for looking at her. What is uh, what is a respectable amount of time you can look at a girl when she's wearing half nothing in the fucking gym? As long as you fucking want, she's asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're dressing half naked. You're pretty much being a billboard for people to stare at you. So if you don't do like- it, does a girl have a right to go? I'm wearing a sports bra and the tiniest pair of shorts I could find. Don't look at my fucking ass. No, you're a fucking skank if you do that. Okay, so but on the flip side, look, it, would you would you if you if a super fat person was at the gym and you stared at them the whole time, they come like, "What are you fucking staring at me for?" And you're like, "You're fucking fat." Like you're asking for it. Like is that is what that's five is that is that okay are we i'm just would we put that in the same group well you'd be, I, you'd, be said, you, you'd be said you're it'd be said that you were fat shaming but i'm like if you want to stare at, it's like this if i'm wearing a tank top and i weigh 300 pounds and i'm shredded i expect people to look at me yes yeah right so if i'm a really hot chick and i'm wearing a fucking little tiny pair of shorts if you got and fake and ass titties you got someone this staring at my ass you kind of ask for it on. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't disagree. <laughs> like, I know when I go to the, like, look, I never, ever, ever wear a tank top to the grocery store. Yeah. Oh, I right? I Why? Do. Because I don't want to be fucking stared at. Oh, I so, do. so when a girl says, well, I should be able to wear this because you just have to learn not to stare at me. I'm like, no. The difference that they're making, which is, I think I negligible in some case here, is that we're being gawked at, like we're in like a holy cow way. They're being sexualized. So like. That's not true. I've had. 
I've had some large black women touch me like they want to take me home. <laughs> yeah, so have I. <laughs> for, the majority, for the majority, it's just people staring at us because they've never seen that before. No, listen. But you're still being stared at regardless. It doesn't. Yes, but that's what I'm asking. Is, is it is one okay versus the other? Like, I, I don't so see you're saying, So you're saying because it's sexual. That intent. Intent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Like like I said, if you're if a girl comes in and got big ass fake titties, you're wearing the smallest sports bra possible. You got a big ass, and now you're wearing the smallest shorts possible, and you want to come up in here and do some RDLs and shit. People are gonna look. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, and you have to expect it. Yeah, look, like okay, but on the flip side of that, I don't disagree with you. But then if you're like a dude and you just sit there and like. Then you're just, well, you gotta, yeah, you're so gonna be two, discreet. Okay, you're so just you know, a fucking creep, then. Like, cause look, you might all like, we might like catch a glance or like catch the mirror. Like, a glance, like, but if, catch, if you're just sitting there, like, if you're just sitting there staring like some fucking psycho <laughs> killer, then yeah, you know, that's, you that's know. just, that's okay, just, creepy. yeah. But in the same, in the same breath, if I was at the gym and someone was literally just like this staring at me my whole workout, I'd be like, bro, what the fuck? Like, that's weird. But chill. I don't think a girl should get upset if she catches like a dude glancing at her. No. Or like a quick like oh shit, you know, like, and like, yeah, staring and gawking are two different things. Yeah. So this is uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, no, that's not it. One second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share more plates, more dates. And I'm trying to sound like some like fucking social justice warrior like that. No, feminist. you're just, I know you're just taking the, 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 you know, you have to take the opposing view, which is fine. I don't necessarily disagree with you, but look at this girl, right? So she's wearing a little pair of shorts. They're not bad, but then she starts taking off her shirt. And this guy over here in the background starts looking. I didn't, at her. I didn't watch this yet. So <laughs> he says, oh, damn, he's looking at her, whatever. So she gets mad. She says, do you need something? Oh my God. Yeah. No, this is. And I'm like, you, you're taking your fucking shirt off. And he didn't even do anything. Like, he, fa- he, he like glanced over. He didn't stare at her for 10 minutes. Yeah. See, that's, she's being too dramatic. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And he's like, are you okay? He tries to, he's a personal trainer. So he tells her to get the fuck out of the gym pretty much. <laughs> that's I don't right. own, don't own the gym. He's like, I work here. She says, that means what? He says, I can call the police and get you out of here. You can be, you can, he said, I can charge you with trespassing. So he tells <laughs> her to get her stuff and go to the front. Now, look, I don't See, know. I, I- I don't no, know if I would. Was... I don't know if I would have kicked her out of the gym. I would have just been like, hey, man, you know what? You're fucking really overreacting. Like, whatever, fuck off. But this is what I'm talking about. She's this. This guy's comment is so keep right on here, Mister Light Mode. Scare me online. Thumbs up. Glance in my general direction in person. No good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. You know. This is what I'm talking about. So that's yeah. That's fucking. That's obsessed. too much. And that's just, to, just to say thank you. More plates, more dates. Check out his. Instagram. At this point, it almost seemed like she was doing that because she knew she had her camera rolling and she was trying to like, you know. But you know what I'm seeing more and more now on on TikTok is girls are doing this. Like yes, they're I almost know. like. But that's what I'm saying. Them. I think they're doing it because of the content, not because they actually care about the guy looking at them. Yeah, it's like yeah. they're trying to set guys up. They're like, oh, look, you staring at me. It's like, what the yes. fuck? You're taking your shirt off in the fucking gym. Oh, because they know that kind of content, like if it's real looking like that, can go viral. <laughs> but it, it, it don't matter if a dude's shirt comes off, a girl's shirts come off. So you're going to get looked at. Seriously. Yes, right. Yep. Yeah. Don't matter. So, okay. So now that we understand that girls are fair game to look at if they wear tight clothes because it's their fault. Fair game, stare. Okay. Just like guys are. Yep. So what is the time limit? 10 seconds. My friend A glance of no to... longer than 10 seconds and you need at least 60 seconds between glances. Yeah. Correct. So you can glance more than once, but you got to spread it out. Yeah, and if you do a five-second glance, you might be able to space them out like every 30, 45 seconds. Agree. with you. I like that. <laughs> but if you're stretching it to a full 10, then you got to take at least a minute breather in there. You know? Okay, wait, wait, wait. You got to do a set. I got to glance, this. do a set, and possibly glance again. Or wait, do I'm a asking, lap around the I'm trying to get this back. right here. Just, I'm asking for a friend. Hold on. So <laughs> I can, can stare for quickly, and then I have to do a set, and I can stare again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, I'm staring after every set. Yeah. Yes. Motivation. That, motivation. That's creepy, isn't it? No, I it's motivation. If I was doing, if I was in a tank top and some guy was doing a set, and after every set he turned around and stared at me, I'd be yeah, like, that's this is up. the thing: is they probably are. And if you, you said something, you, if you, if I was staring at you, said I'd be like, "You're big as fuck, bro. What do you want me to do? Not yeah. stare? 
I guarantee you when when we're so, girl, girl, so if you were doing a set guy and after every set you stopped and looked at the girl and she's like, what are you looking at? And you're like, you have huge tits. What do you want me to do? Not look at you? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> your shit's falling out. What do you want me to do? Fucking stare over here. That's why that's why I asked uh, you to stop for that's why I asked you about I think the there's nothing going on. Over here. I'm gonna stare at Wait, what'd you say, Ian? Here. That's why I asked you about the fat person, because if the fat person was like, What are you staring at? I was like, Are you gonna say they're fucking fat as shit? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was trying to lead you into that, but it didn't go that way. It didn't way. follow you. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, I, I don't think like you, you can stare. Problems. I don't think you can stare after every set. I think that's too much. After every two sets? I think it's like between exercises. One per exercise? One stare per exercise? One stare per exercise. <laughs> stare what per if exercise? it doesn't happen that way? What do you mean? Like, what if you're benching, right? And then she's across from you doing some nice shit. You're going to glance more than once. Well, also, she, wait, 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 wait. This is important. This is important. Did she come to your area or did you go to hers? If she, she invades your circle, you fair. I have a question here. Well, I, I, I don't think she answer. Yeah, go well, I don't. I don't think that should matter. If she it was does in the matter. corner, no, you come matters. over bench. No, no, it matters because if you're she coming to your territory, if you're somewhere, and this girl with like barely, right, she invaded on, your territory. She yeah, invaded. if she comes over and sits at a bench across from you, it, she might be trying to be suggestive. Yeah, that's, that's why we're going to say jump like, to a shark. Okay, well, you know, what if the role was averse and now I'm trying to be suggestive? It depends uh, what kind of eye contact. Are you glancing over because you're trying to make eye contact for a flirtatious way, or are you just yes. trying to like stare at their butt for jerk off material later? You know, I'm always trying to. I'm because <laughs> if you're just saving for the spank bank, like Both. The, when they when they're looking the at you, reel. you look at their eyes when they turn it's, around. It's, if you're doing it for the spank bank, then you completely make it so you they never catch you. You know, yeah, of course, yes. Now, like you wait till there's no way they're looking. No, at I don't. You. It but if you're trying to make some eye contact and be a little flirtatious, then that's different. You know, Nick, do you no, care? No, I, Nick, do you care if you get caught? Like if you're looking never, at your tits and she's never. Sees nope. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they're flopping. I'm looking. You know. Okay. Well, I honestly. When I'm in this situation, I go out of my fucking way to not look in their uh, direction. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I never want to be the creeper in the fucking gym. So yeah. I'm like, and if I do catch eyes with someone, I'm like, I look away because I'm like, I don't want to be the fucking old guy that's like <laughs> staring. So I'm, I'm always really fucking con- self-conscious about this kind of shit. Yeah. I don't want some girl to go tell her fucking buddy or friend like, yeah, that guy's a fucking creep. That's a fucking nightmare, man. You'd probably go tell her boyfriend, but she'd be like, sick, I love Fuad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was staring at my titties. Yeah. yeah, that's a not a fucking oh, shit. I'll get a picture with him. <laughs> Did you get a picture? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do a couple questions before we go. Did you guys have a gym crush back in the day? And did you make your move? Yes. Yes. Yes no. to a gym crush or yes, you made your move or both? Both. Both. Okay. Ian, you never had a gym crush? Uh, no, not, not, not really. No. How did you make your move, guy? I asked, oh, mine was easy. I <laughs> asked my friend for her. It was, I asked my friend for her number. Oh, you, you're a fag. <laughs> you can't say I, that, man. Hey, hey, I married her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I married her. <laughs> Bethany? Yeah. How old were you? You asked your friend for her number? Yeah, 20. Oh, dude, that's shameful. Can you, go, can you go get her number for me? You're not fucking 16. You're 26. Hey. Okay, you're going to yell a little shy. You're going to yell at 15 years ago? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just finding out about this now. <laughs> can I get your friend's number? I can't ask her. What did you do, Nick? Uh, mine was on the hack squat, so I spotted her on the hack squat. And then what? You're oh, you're like, so cool. You're like, and then I just. Hit Made conversation. One thing led to another. What is your go-to conversation? What do you say after your hack spot set? I just am very motivational. It's not going to suck itself. Pump it up. <laughs> it's not going to suck itself. <laughs> you squat on the dick like that? <laughs> you, you eat ass? <laughs> I'm going to hold you back. I want to see Nick's. I want to know what Nick's game is like. I want to put a, like a GoPro. Nick, if I would talk to you, it might laugh my fucking balls off. It's never, it's the, never same? the same. You have a different no. game for everybody. Yeah, because every girl's different. You gotta read the room, oh, bro. I didn't know that. Read the room. <laughs> hey, drop, I can't go up to every girl and be like, "I didn't hey, know yeah. that." <laughs> well, see, I, I, I have the like the the clicker. I call it the clicker game. Like, if you go through a bar and just say the same thing to every single girl, eventually oh. you'll you'll get power the, by numbers. Yeah, you just click, click. Just go through with my bouncer. What do you say? Clicker. Yeah. Huh? What do you say? What do you do after the bar? 
<laughs> what? What are you, you doing, doing after the bar? What are you doing oh, the bar closes? Oh, wait, you, you said the gym? No, I mean when I used to. What are you doing bar, after that's the what gym? I if I was at the gym, I would probably say something about like, you know, are you getting ready for a show or something like that? That's what I would, you know, I would lead with that. Hmm. What would you say? How many sets you got left? <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> That's going to get them every time. <laughs> How many sets you got? Nick, what do you, what do you say? You that using you that? Better fucking mace. Well, if I had done that, I'd be like, what well, do you mind if I jump in? And then that leads then to more next, You know, we're working out together. What's the second line? Can I jump in? Can I jump in? But see, the thing that I don't think is consistent. There's no set line. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Nick probably comes up, goes up and goes, you know who I am? Yeah. I've done that. I've done that. (laughs) That just has like scripted Google pickup line. I, yeah, uh, Google me. You're off script. He's I like, can't, did that. You know what I, did? I, did that. I can't be bothered. I'm like, what are you doing later? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing later? Nothing. Okay, cool. See ya. No, I, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what my fucking game is like. I don't, I've had a fucking wife for 15 years. Yeah, me too. I forgot all about this shit. And when I didn't have a wife, I was bouncing. And if you're bouncing, it's not fucking, it's no, like, it's, it's, it's easy. Not, yeah. It's not, you know, anyway. Um, what do you do regarding injection sites and rotating them? You rotate them. Just don't do the same one twice. What do you mean? Yeah, you rotate it. Delt, delt, lat, lat. Shouldn't go in something twice in one week. I think usually, I think usually you should have four sites. You know, I think you need a minimum of four to cycle through well. I think two is not enough. Three is just uneven. That's fucking weird. So I think well, you got to have these four sites. You have a lot, though. Like I don't I said, think delt, you delt. have to have four. It depends who you are and how much you're taking. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Like, look, yeah, yeah. If you're doing, if you're doing 250 milligrams of test TRT, you could probably just do delt delt or fucking yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you could probably do the same delt every time. If you what don't. if you're? What if it's every day? If you're doing 5,000. That's what I'm saying. For like every Ian. day, for in any application, I think you need like the 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 four is kind of the number. Like if you're doing three or four times a week, or if you're doing you know what most bodybuilders are doing daily or whatever, I think you need four sites. Which is kind of like, well, usually guys yeah, would do glute, shoulder, shoulder, quad, quad, shoulder, shoulder, whatever, you know? I still don't understand the daily injection thing. Why? What, every day? Because I had a conversation with uh, Dr. Dean uh, St. Martin, and he said, once you, reach, once, once you reach a saturation point, which only takes, I think, I believe he said like three weeks or four weeks or something like that. Once you reach the saturation point, it's just all overlap anyway like there's no point in doing it every day like if you're doing tests right and it's a, it's a two-week half-life or whatever but i'm and, shooting test prop but it's a two so it's a two-day half-life okay but either way if i would be doing it usually sure. it's for simplicity and and every day i find too it does keep it easier to find estrogen effects in control you have less like bolus dose like that okay. but i and i just find it easier to do it every day like it's just really? well yeah i mean like and i don't want to shoot like say i'm shooting so you're shooting 750 milligrams of test. I don't want to shoot a mil and a half of test in one go, you know? Why? Because that's just a lot. I would rather do like 0.25 or 0.5 and just do it every day. I don't think that's a lot. I think that's where we're different. I'm like, like I, look, if it was multiple compounds in there, then you're doing a three built. Yeah, what if you like, yeah, all three, like three, it's three cc's. I, I don't like to do that. I would just I do small. I would do like 1.5 or 2 cc's every day, you know? Yeah, I'd rather split it up. I don't want to do shots every day. I think that's fine. Yeah. I still split it up, but I just split it up three times a week instead of every day. I found with doing daily shots or even... Well, I, have more, I have more injection sites, right? So I sure. still split it up to smaller shots. I like every other but day. But I just... You yeah, know, I, I found I've, with doing that, I've almost completely negated my need for using AIs unless I'm like deep into a prep. It's that beneficial, really. For me, I like I look. I don't convert it very high range either. Like I'm yeah. very low. Well, it's AI. funny. This is this is the first off season I really didn't use an AI. Yeah. I can okay, go in an so off season using 750 test and like you know whatever, and I can use almost no AI, and I'm perfectly fine if I do my shots very very regularly. Okay, yeah. so just a question. So you guys both don't. Okay, so the main reason that you're telling me is you attribute your low estrogen conversion to your daily shots. It's not the main reason I do it, but it's one reason why I prefer doing it. That's that a good reason. If, it, yeah. if, if that's actually a fact, I didn't know that was a fact of that. Like an effect. I, I, of be- it. I believe it to be. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I agree. So what are the other reasons you just, it's easier for you load the loading wise, like just taking 
more. I just almost feel like the body can't handle so much of one like shot. Like a large amount. I just, I, I just make it part of my daily routine. Just do smaller amounts every day. Like for me, say I'm in prep and I'm doing, you know, 700 prop. 350 trenace, you know, 350 Mastron. I'll just do one mil of prop and 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5, and I just yeah, do it yeah, every yeah. day. Yeah, okay. No? okay. That's fair. That's what I would do. Yeah. Okay. Well, those are good reasons. I didn't, I didn't consider those because I was considering, because I was thinking like some guys that take like test E are yeah. like, there's a two week half life and they're fucking taking 50 milligrams a day every day. And I'm like, once you reach saturation, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, well, I think that might, I guess that could be you're still getting, You're still getting less peaks and valleys, you know? Not, not according but the the according to dr dean like well, it would it's a be very, because if it's you, a very small like it's a very it's, small it is small but it's it's yeah. more than doing daily with like a short ester or drug or something but if i like if you did you know 250 or four 300 milligrams in one shot and then went and got blood work the next day versus do it and you know what i mean it's going to change the number you're going to get back but if you're doing monday wednesday friday that's not, probably fine yeah. yeah you're not yes i'm not saying wait two weeks yeah, no, for obviously for shooting test meditator symphony. I mean, even doing yeah. twice, you know, three times a week is perfectly fine. Yeah, but now yeah. what I'm what I'm hearing from people because of things that you've said, yeah. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm sure other people have said them, but they're like, yeah, I do my test E like every single day. I just do 50 milligrams a day. And I'm like, why? I could see if it was like, I don't want to do more. I don't, I don't want to do a shot every day. That's my thing. I don't fuck with the tiny little shots. It's like easy. It's quick. It's whatever. Are yeah. you using insulin needles for the shit? No. What, what size, that. what size needle are you using? One inch, inch half. one inch, 25 gauge or 23, 23, 23 gauge. Yeah, you use 23, that. only 23. Fuck that. I use 25. No, I use 23. I use yeah. 23 too. I ain't doing that shit every day. I use 25. No, I'm sensitive. I, I want know. all that scar tissue, bro. That's why I look so fucking big and wide. It's just <laughs> masses of scar tissue in my <laughs> delt. But delt fucking scar tissue as possible. Yeah. Inflammation <laughs> and scar tissue. That's all I want to be. That'll never, <laughs> that'll, that'll never break down. You'll keep that for life. It'll just be yes. there forever. <laughs> I'll be fucking skinny with That's huge not true, guy. Health. It breaks down. The muscle breaks down around it and then you just yes. end up with lumpy shit in your fucking really? in your shoulders and arms. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> all right, we'll do one or two more. Uh, no, yeah, you, you definitely don't need to do it. You know, I think if you're someone who's having issues with you know, estradiol side effects and, or even any kind of hormonal fluctuation side effects like acne or things like this, I think yeah. you can, to some degree, help mitigate it with doing not necessarily every day, but more frequent injections every other day at a lower dose to, to keep those, everything a little more steady. Um, I agree. But at that point, any more than that, if it's, you're helping it to that point, any more than that is just out of personal preference. Yeah. Okay. Um, I shall agree. Do you really believe Paul when he says he can do a half marathon with you? No, I don't even know if I can do the fucking half marathon. No, I mean, I after this two and a half minute thing, there's no chance. <laughs> I could never do a half marathon. I think you could. I've I run think, three. I think. I think anybody. But this is. I'm sure we're gonna get. I'm gonna get roasted for this, but I don't give a fuck. Nah, man. I think anybody who has like an athletic spirit with a need for competition. Six, six can, months can, to a year can do, can do anything within reason I can, are you going to go start playing fucking basketball in the nba no could you run 13 miles if you really fucking had your, like somebody had a gun to your head yeah you could i'll tell you guys i've been at a lot of big like the big races like that like you know the the marathons and half marathon stuff where there's twenty thousand people running them and 75 percent of those people are in fucking awful looking shape yeah. You know, they're overweight. A lot of them, they're not in great physical ability, but they've trained for it enough that they're able to complete it. And any of us would absolutely. The be reason able to. I say that is once you've done a show or maybe done shows at a high level, I don't know maybe how you want to put it, then you know what it takes, you know, yeah. how to, you know, how to plan, you know, how to execute and you yeah. know how to follow the training program. You know, and that's, that's kind of all the same for every sport, unless you I'm start someone. including more skill. Yeah. You just find someone to put together a good, you know, running block program for you, you know, of different blocks of training with, you know, your long, slow days, your faster days, whatever, you know. Um, and, you know, if you're nutrition for us, we'd probably need to obviously come down and wait. So you do that accordingly and you just train. I mean, it wouldn't this be what that. I need. I think I need a, I think I need a, this is going to sound so fucking, I can't say the word. I think I need a running coach to tell me like what to do because right now i'm just like i'm gonna run every day and i'm like it's not, oh it's you, not need to, you need to you need to periodize properly for running yeah yeah it's very, it's quite important for running for sure uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that 
It's this running interval trading program. Guy, why do you have to challenge me at everything? Where did you get that? Why do you have that? This guy, because he's because I decided to run. So guy's like, I'm going to run too. I'm going to run better. Yeah, I'm going to run better than food. Well, you, I outweigh you by 60 pounds. So you already have a huge advantage. Where did you get that? I, uh, PT. I am going to outrun you just because. I'm going to out everything you. I'm going to so. make sure that you never beat me at anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already beat you about with pro. I'm wins, gonna, so I'm gonna prepared. fucking start blood doping. I'm gonna we'll take. Start, we'll EPO. start with pro wins. I beat you there. It's some fucking EPO in you, man. Doesn't You'll count. Two twelve is like a fraction of. Yeah. <sighs> seven. You don't get the really? same. You don't seven? get the same. You don't get the same. That's the little boy division. Yeah. Suck pole, pal. <sighs> How'd you do? Those go, go watch that movie, Icarus. Uh, fifth and six. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> You've watched Icarus, right? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I'm going to get that doctor to help me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Get, do that. Do his program. Guy, you definitely have more pro wins than me, but you will not outrun me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will, actually. I, I owe you by 60 pounds. I can't. I'm in so much fucking pain right now. You have no <laughs> idea. I'm just trying to get through life. I got to drop 20 pounds so I can fucking run. This life. Life. What do you weigh for that? 260. It's all in my fucking ass. And all the McDonald's. Pasta and McDonald's. Oh, pasta so good. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you think Rami's going to win his third title? No. No. Oh, Nick Walker's going to win. What do you really think, Ian? Uh, no. No, I do not believe Rami will repeat, but I don't know after that. Why does Guy hide his girlfriend? They were so cute in Columbus. You do have a girlfriend. Aha! Uh -huh. In Columbus? That's what? what this says. Oh, my God. He's in trouble I mean, with his girlfriend now. My, a different girl. my, oh, is that a different girl? She came to my booth. Do I have to cut like this part 10 out? Minutes. Do I have to cut this part out? Or is she, is that, was she actually no. in Columbus? She was. Oh, okay. For, I met her there, but for like 10 minutes. Man, so, so they've been together since March. This is you have serious. a fucking girlfriend this whole time. You haven't told us about her. It's at least March. We're talking like four or five months now. How old is she, guy? Old enough to get her ass beat. <laughs> wait. To get wait, are you talking That's about not good? Or are you talking about sexual? Oh my God, I was, I was joking. Oh. That was. <laughs> I was like, you gonna beat her up? Twenty five. Twenty five. What does she do for a living? You're forty. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's so baked this episode. You're the, like fuck. I'm so stoned this episode. I'm it's not so crazy. stoned. Twenty five and forty. Wow, that's good. All right, good for you, Chip. Um, okay, let me see here. They're all rate my physiques. Fuck your fucking physiques. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and all your shitty fucking physiques. You all look like shit. Don't say that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, he's not. Oh, All right. You just you're gonna get killed for that one, Ian. Do I have to cut that out? No, that's funny. That was good. Wait, what did Ian say? <laughs> I said fuck all their shitty physiques. Oh Jesus. All right. I'm just well, doing a, doing a podcast oh, yeah, do you think it's more do you think it's more so hard <laughs> I can't even read that? <laughs> <laughs> what am I? I got all three here. I can't find a good question. Okay, well then let's rate a physique. Dora, we're about to rate physiques, okay? I'm trying to find a good one here. Yeah. Okay. We'll cut on a bit. We'll cut on a bit. Do you guys think when a bodybuilder jumps from one supplement company to the next, it hurts the way fans will look at them? Um, if you're doing it too often. Yes, then. yes. Loyalty. Yes. It it, it, if you're doing it too often, yes. But I also think people need to realize that this is still our job and there's business at some point. But I think if you're Agreed. someone... You can't, you, know, you can't always blame the athlete either. You can't always blame. But if you're if you're someone that does a 10-year pro career and you're with 10 companies, that's not looking too good for you. Yeah. you know? I agree. That I agree. I have a question. Doesn't yeah. the fucking supplement matter? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look, because a lot of people... I, I would not sign with a brand whose supplements I didn't want to use. Exactly. Agreed. I Thank I you. See that all the time. I agree with that. I I can tell. I could. I'm not going to name any names, but firsthand know someone with a supplement company, and they hate their fucking products. And I'm like, I know people. I I get, There's a ton of. I'm like, why the fuck? I, I'm like, isn't that? I mean, the money is important. Yes, 
But isn't I that would, one of the most important things? Because you're otherwise you're a lying sack of shit, right? I'm trying to, I, would, I have to like this up. Yeah, I got I it. Fit, I'm trying to think. I'm ESN Centurion Labs and fit. But I was with four my whole career. Four. So I was with four, but I never promoted a product I Are didn't like, it? except for when I was younger. I will admit, when I was with Muscle Tech. <laughs> They used to have a sign off on ads. They would send us an ad, and oh, if you were in yeah. it, they'd be like, "Do you can you sign off on this, please?" And I would sign off on it. I didn't know any better. I was like 28. I was like, I think this is it was my first contract. I was like, this is what cool. It's like right. Um, but then as I got older, I was like, no, I don't, I don't use that, so I don't want to put my name on that. Blah blah blah. Um. So, but I would, I don't think like after I knew what the industry was like, I never signed or put my name on anything I didn't use. Yeah. yeah. So. And when I was with companies, I, was, make it hard I only promoted products that I used when I was with those companies. Yeah, because I, 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 before I was getting paid, like the first two companies were like, I've only been with ANS and and Ron Revive as like a, a good pro hey, company. Yeah, 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 like making like more money. Like you know, I got paid small amount with GAT and stuff like that. But yeah. you know, I, with another company, and there was like out of all their products, it was like two products I used, and it made it very hard for me to like promote them. Because yeah. I, I was only promoting the two products because I didn't want to bullshit. Like That's I would right. just promote the shit out of two and sell good on two. But then it's like, oh, can you post this? I'm like, I, I don't fucking use I that. Don't use that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I know what you mean. Um, favorite type of pizza? I ha- I'm shocked at some of the answers for this one. Good. I, good like, uh, I like sausage pizza. A good no, no, margarita no. pizza. No, no, wait, wait, not toppings. I, I, I think I got a debate with Samson about this. I like Alfredo pizza. He didn't like deep dish pizza. Margarita. No, that's not pizza. That's I hate deep dish pizza. Oh, <sighs> you mother. That's not pizza. That's not really pizza. It's pie. It's pizza. It's pie. pie. Yes. It's so delicious though. It's it's wait. I don't think it's bad, but I think it's in a very very different category. It's definitely not traditional pizza. No, but... it's it's such a far cry from regular. Like Nick. Nick. I like pepperoni pizza. <laughs> no, I didn't say topping. You do you like Chicago deep dish? Yes. What is your favorite? Thin, thin crust, normal. Oh, no, I like I like a lot of crust. You like a lot of crust. I like thin, not, crust. not deep dish. Not deep dish guy. I like thin all the I way like, yeah, for the back. I like, I like thick. thin, like thin with a crunch, like a little yes. fucking crunch. So yeah. I saw what's the bar stool guy's name again? Yeah, Dave, Dave Portnoy. Portnoy. He came out of. A, so you know, hold on. Guy. So you know the highest rating. Of any pizza place was ten minutes down the fucking road, Deluca's. So okay, we'll get wait, pizza. This is up there. There's a couple in, in like Connecticut and stuff that are the highest. Wait a minute. So he, and then in Jersey, uh, he, he threw me off though because I he lost a little bit of credibility with me. He what? went to he went to a pizza place. He came out with the slice, took it out of the box, turned it sideways, and he went like this. He's like, "See, this is how pizza should be. The pizza didn't bend at all." But he like. No flop. That's his yeah, thing. No flop. Yeah. Oh, fucking good pizza flops. A little. No, bit. it doesn't. A little bit. Little bit. No. Got to be a little bit. A little, but but you're talking about personal want, preference now. I don't want the bottom. He's so reading crispy his, that it's straight. Like, do you like a lot of sauce or a little sauce? Wet dough. A lot of sauce. We're we're about discussing cheese. personal preference here. You know, moderate cheese, not a lot of moderate cheese. Moderate cheese. So wait, do you like regular or margarita? I like margarita. If I like a hard crust or a soft crust. Hard. I like a little crispy. Everything's got to be. A I like crispy. crispy on the outside, but I want a little. A little I, I like a soft crust, little crisp, and the big little bubbles crisp. on the and the big bubbles on the yeah. crust. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, yeah. so we're not that far off. We're all pretty. We'll get good. Pizza. Hey, I don't like I'll a get, lot. I don't like a lot of dough. Do I'm going to get Sorry. pizza on Friday. No, not a lot. Not a crazy amount. Not a crazy. You want pizza on Friday? Well, Ian's dieting. I don't want to eat pizza on Friday. We'll just do steaks. Oh, you, yo, eat whatever the fuck you want from me. I'll give a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a fucking slob. I'm trying to lose some weight here. Okay, well, you gotta run. Do it yeah. for yourself. Don't do it. For yeah, me. I mean, you're gonna go for a run Saturday. How about, how about this? One of the TRT fucking games. Who can eat the most pizza? I'll fucking win that for sure. I'm not even. It's not even going to be a contest. Who had I'll race Thanks. you in uh, 800 meters? I'll race you. In, in, somebody said. That, Justin said this to me. I'll race weekend, all actually. everybody. He goes. I Two bet laps. you. He goes. I bet you. Ian goes. I bet, uh, Justin goes. I bet you. Ian can beat you. I'm like, no, he can't. But what happens if we actually race and one of us like tears something? I will definitely tear something. Probably. You guys are retired. It's fine. I'm five yeah. weeks out. I probably shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. But 800, 800 is not a sprint. So, like, we could, you know. Guy, me and you should get up Saturday morning because I got to run anyway. This would be a great call. Go for a run and see who dies. Where first. are we training on Saturday? Oh, I'll probably die first because you've been running longer. Where are we training Saturday? Golds. Oh, no, no. We're training down there. 
Saturday. No, Sunday we're training down there. Oh, Saturday train up here then. Or maybe he what? I think train he might have me. something. Gold. I think he might have somewhere for us to train on Saturday too, though. He'll probably take you. He probably would want to go to the, the performance academy. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a group chat with Pat in it. Yeah, we don't have a game plan. We need a game plan. You gotta all come right. to my gym for at least a fucking train. All stuff. right, all right. I'll make a group chat with Pat in it, and then we can all figure out exactly what's going on. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Now I gotta piss and I gotta eat. So, all right. All right. All right, boys. I saw the you, uh, Hey, wait a minute. Ah. Oh, I'll see you I'll on Friday. My fucking one line. Wait a minute. <laughs> should we do? No, what? we should just do Friday, right? What? We'll just meet Friday. What are you talking about? Should we do what? I was going to do a live podcast like before to promote. Do it, it here at my house on Friday. I have a whole fucking studio. We'll do it upstairs. Okay, we're using guys' studio Friday. All right, all right, guys. See you guys Friday. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.